That was weird. Music was still playing. Hello, everyone. Space up here with Quarantine. We're here to play some heckin' D and D. Started a little bit late. Uh, today was crazy hectic for me. I was up since four a.m. Did a lot of cleaning, dealing with Mama's stuff. But we are here to play some games, and everyone's here. As you can see, everyone's lovely, beautiful faces are here and present and exciting. Crimson, right there, now has a cam, so that's exciting. All right, uh, let's see. Let's do a quick recap. Um, let's see. Okay, last, not last week, uh, we had to cancel last week. The week before, uh, group one is in Raska. They're tasked with trying to help rebuild Raska because of the damage that was done um, due to the anomaly that happened um all the materials and stuff that people need are really far away so people are in danger from being exposed to elements and all that good stuff um so um the team decided to go investigate the fire swamp for what did i say it was five gold per no it was a fire swamp yeah it was fire swamp five gold per um hex revealed or something like that yes yes cool um oh crap i don't have any of that ready it's fine i know what i'm doing in this game um it's fine <laughs> um i know exactly what i'm doing but the idea was uh, they were in the mage tower uh they were prepping to get ready um since echo is here uh she will actually be joining the party which is exciting um but they did kind of recruit or um they're going to be helped out with a someone uh, a medicinal alchemist healer friend um named jordan and they left off as uh, they were about to go rest for the night. Um, I guess I never really uh, explained to Jordan, did I? Um, he's kind of, he's a, a tallish, uh, like, health elf man. Uh, he's got, like, chocolatey silk skin. Uh, he's got some dreadlocks. Um, and he's very uh, calm, quiet demeanor. Um, he kind of will keep to himself. Um, he's one of those people that, like, they don't say much, but when they do... It means something, and people take it to heart, kind of thing. Um, so he's just. What I've got in my head right now is the gatekeeper in Thor. You know, yes, the the perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I was gonna say he, uh, that's what I forgot. He has golden eyes, just like him. Hell yeah, love that guy. What's his name? It starts with an A. Heimdall. Heimdall. That's right. I love that guy. He's so fucking cool. Hell yeah, dude. So awesome. Yeah. Uh, so if you uh, if that's what you're thinking, that's who that's he is. That's head cannon now. That's head cannon. There yeah. you go. <laughs> that's kind of who I built him off of. I was like, man, I just want him just badass dude, and he just kind of hangs oh, out, yeah, dude. kicks ass when he needs to. Yeah, you, you, even the gods don't fuck with he Heimdall. No, <laughs> he's like, like, are you serious, bitch? I, I just hang out here, just make sure the balance is here. I will mess you hey, up. Massive, nice glass, by the way, my dude. Where can I get one of those? Oh yeah, um, <laughs> it's the quarantine glass and the, the shirt. He dude. got it off the shop. This thing is so soft. It's a very cool looking glass. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, we're gonna it's have to got that. It's got that fun it. texture. You know, it's got like that bump. But I, I'm glad it turned out well, and it was super packed. I know you were um, worried about it showing up broken or something cereal, but yes. like it was in a box wrapped in inside the box. This thing was wrapped in bubble wrap that was wrapped in bubble wrap that was wrapped in bubble wrap and stuffed with it. Okay. So I checked it out as well and they do have a UK store so you wouldn't even have to pay for overseas shipping. So that is a hell oh, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to getting them. Sweet. Yeah, I know a, pe a couple people a uh, couple people <laughs> ordered one. I think Josh got one too. Uh, Moira I believe got a shirt. It's coming in. How much are those glasses? Um I did them as cheap as I could. I think they're like 15 or 18. dollars which isn't bad. Yeah, I like the texture. It's twelve. It's twelve pound thirty nine in our money. So I already checked. <laughs> it's like sixteen bucks. Okay, maybe yeah, it's roughly. cheaper. I don't remember. <laughs> yes, plugs, plugs for the team. <laughs> What's going on, Moira? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Moira, that, that, that's the smart thing to do. Just do the merge command, and it gives you a link. Done. Yes, <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Moira. My, my brain is in weird places today, but. We are here to play some heckin' D&D. &D. You guys ready to play some heckin' D&D? &D? So yeah. ready, my dude. Let's go. All right. Um, let's see. So you guys are at the uh, Mage Tower. Um, Jordan uh, says uh, to you guys, like, then I shall see you in the morning. And uh, turns to his uh, alchemy table and continues mixing some stuff up. 
and uh, I guess because you need you guys did you you need you needed to do a a rest right? I think we I did our we rest. Our yeah, that's how we ended. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like that was the point of rest. Right. I just want to make sure that uh, you guys are fully rested. No, not actors. Rest. Long rest. Sick. Okay. You guys should be good to go. Um, yep. What time did you guys want to wake up? Um, well, you already told us that no matter what, we can't really, the, the sun doesn't go through the trees, the density of it all. So it doesn't really matter. It's going to be dark anyway. So. <laughs> well, no, the, uh, you, you'll be able to see through it. Um, just going in at night is dangerous because <laughs> there's bad things in there. I mean, does that apply if you have dark vision? Um, yeah, one? it's... Well, I yeah, one. I have dark vision. Yeah, the elves yeah, do. You guys will be able to see fine yeah, during the day. Yeah, so you're, you're sure down real like quick. Unless all of a sudden you guys, it starts getting nighttime, then you might get in trouble. <clears throat> but we'll have three elves, like, you know, me, um, Echo, and Jordan. Oh, wait, uh, Jordan is half. Oh, uh, Miss Creation is also half elf, and she still has. Um, I think, yeah, half also, elf you still so... get. I'm also half elf. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, you're also half elf. Yeah. Oh, uh, the half amount of half elves elf we have on this campaign is. Well, they're really good then. We could just steal. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll just hold our dragonkin friend's hand <laughs> as we go through. <laughs> Try not to let them bump into trees. I, I think dragon uh, dragonborn might have uh, dark vision as well. <laughs> yeah, they do. Like in in fifth edition, pretty much everyone that is not a human gets like dark vision. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just playing D &D and being is, a what human. Is, what is your <laughs> what does your player thing say? I'm trying to open. Um, am I not in D and D? I'm not in the correct mode. All right, Dragonborn do not have dark vision. Apparently, that's what I thought. There we go. Okay, well that is fine. Okay, um, so what time did you guys want to head on out? I guess. Um, I suppose as early as possible, really. Yeah. So like at break of dawn. It's quick, don't we? So we can meet up with the second group and. Get on with the big one. Six in the morning. So six, yeah. Break of dawn. Sounds good. Okay, let's. Uh, hopefully this is not. That's too chatty for six in the morning. Um, whatever. We'll we'll figure it out. Your guys are gonna be leaving town anyway. Um, you guys go. Um, uh, <clears throat> wake up. Uh, to uh, I guess you just guys wake up. Um, oh crap! What's the wizard's name? Is it Eldred? Eldred, thank you. I always want to say Rokax, but that's yeah. our, our fighter. Um, Eldred, uh, he's dead. Already had, yeah. He already he it's has a uh, he has breakfast and stuff ready for you guys. Um, it's a, a hearty meal to try to help you on your way. Jordan joins you guys for uh, the breakfast. You know, just eating quietly, and uh, you eat your your heart's fill, and uh, you are ready to enter into the fire swamp. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so we just okay. make our way there. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's roll. Uh, let's go. So I'm going to assume since none of us know how to get to it, that Jordan does know how to get to it. Yeah, he can. He can lead so you guys there. I mean, it's like, it. you know, it's not too far of a jaunt away from town, but far enough away that they're safe from any of the the people that can or the the lizard can. What did I call salamanders? The salamanders, you know, they don't want them raiding their town, so they're far enough away, but. You know, it's not too far away. It's like a 20, 30 minute walk just to to get there. Um, he leads you to uh, the entry in the fire swamp and it, it comes from like basic plains to um, pretty dense trees. And um, you can you can smell the, the humidity in the air uh, that the, the density of the trees is holding in um, from the swamp and the, the wetlands that are before you. And Jordan, uh, as he approaches, he kind of looks off into the, uh, the the thick trees. You can't see more than 50 feet into the, the fire swamp, and he slams his uh, staff, turns around, and he says, uh, once we enter, there's no, there's no way back except through the way we come or if we find the e exit. We could be stuck in here for many hours. Are you sure you want to do this? I want to get paid, so yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> What's up, Josh? Thank you for the raid, my dude. Um, I'm gonna uh, turn. Just check in. We've got we a, we've got a load of rations. Ready? Okay. Um, I've got three potions. Oh, we we did all our shopping and stuff beforehand, didn't we? So mm -hmm. yeah, I think we're, we're all good. Yeah, I think we're good, dude. Everyone else uh, good? Yeah. 
like a fireproof potions. You what? Like any the other. only one that we had. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There was only one, and Corin bought it. Yeah. Because uh, well, the dragonborn I'll... needs fireproof potions. Well, I'll, I'll probably give it to one of y'all. <laughs> I mean, multiple of you guys already have some potions. It just takes an action to use it. Um, you can always use, you know, uh, your, but I did. your basic first aid and stuff if you need. You can always, um, and this is up to you whether it's smart or not, but you could always rest in the fire swamp if you have to. Um, you know, the, the, the swamp is dangerous and, uh, it, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of dangers ahead to you. So, you know, use your heads, use your wits, pull out if you need to, or do what you need. You know, this is all on, you guys are just trying to help this town. Plus you're getting paid for every hex you reveal. Um, I guess if there's any uh, questions you have, go ahead and ask them. I was going to say, I bought at least three vials of antivenom. I'm equipped with some basil, which is an antidote herb. Um, Colt's foot, which is also anti-infection. Henbane, which is an antidote potion, or antidote type herb. Um, Napweed, which is another poison protection herb. And thyme, which is an antiseptic herb. Nice. Dude, did yeah. it not save my shit? It did. Energy. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully this will work. Uh, how many how many rations did we say we had between us all? Because I have nine. I have six. Did I I didn't have any, did I? Big black square. Yeah, we haven't Actually, dragged you no, in yet. I think I bought some. I think I bought like two. Yeah, yeah. I have two things of rations on. Oh, I need a I need to roll. One of you roll a D six. I can't see anything right now. I know. Just roll a d6 yeah, into the chat. Yeah. What, what oh, did you do to the I can make it, I can make it a bit smaller. There we go. D6. I rolled it. There you are. Okay. There. <laughs> Two. Um, so, this is how it's going to work. It's going to be really awkward, but... Oh, okay. For now... So, you only can see, like, what this hex, right? Serial? I, I can see... Everything. Fuck! Yeah. You're not supposed yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> I can see all the hexes. Stop sharing. Yo, lads, I got a new ability. Full sight. Let's go. Why, dude? Every time I set one of these up, like, it stops working when I close the game. Well. Jordan quickly wipes our memory. Right. You guys saw nothing. So, did only Serial see that, hopefully? You guys just saw a big black screen, right? I can't see anything now. I definitely saw. For shame. I thought too, but I didn't see anything. Silly Hex, one Russian. Huh. Well, I like this ambiance music. It's nice. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, this swamp is... Sounds. That's cool. You, you first step into the swamp, and you kind of have to force your way into the thick foliage, and you start hearing the wildlife and stuff go on the distance. Um, if you are able to constantly see this, you're not supposed to. Ah! It, did it just get fixed? Do you only see, like... Oh, I, don't, I don't see anything, now. We don't see anything, though. All right, hold on. I think nope. I get it. All right, can you see that, Lucio? Hey, there we go. Yeah, and it's all hidden as well. Yes, yes. Okay. I only see me on one hex. That's it. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be really awkward for the rest of the team. I don't see anything. Yeah, because I don't know if I can actually do this, so I'm going to try it. So what's how this is going to work is you guys are all technically on this map. Who's Ludo? Oh, that's your I fucking... Know, I was going to ask that. <laughs> that's um, Miss Creation Summon. Oh, yeah. You got a, you got a little yeah. pet thing now. So we have two familiars now. Yes. Yeah, so it is. Arian and, and Ludu. Hang on. If I share the screen. Okay, now I see. One, this is what I see. Okay. I and see it now. should be what people should see, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. So essentially, um, this is the map that every hex you reveal is going to give you that gold. Now, if you look, um, you guys are going to have to decide at, as a group which way you're going to go. And if you highlight over the map, you'll see, uh, like, closed those are directions you can take and that's going to take you to another hex right <clears throat> so decide as a group and when you open one of those you all move into it at once and then i will reveal whatever hazards are there to you does okay. that make sense sure mm -hmm. in the event of a combat or something um that's where things will get weird i will be uh dragging you guys off this map and actually onto a combat map itself Okay. Well, um, I, 
For the sake of order, should we just do from right to left in Fantasy Ground? So, Pancog, Echo, Corin, Jordan, and then me. What do you mean? Which goes in which direction? Because uh, if we're going to the same I direction, would... that means we need to all agree on one direction to go with. So, if we say the first person who picks is Pancog, the second person would be Echo, oh, I got you. third person, sure. Corin. Third person would be you being Jordan, and last person would be me being Luke. This makes it easier with it being in the order in Fantasy Grounds, I think. That you way it's can't all fair. see the map. You can't see uh, the map? I see, you like, no, it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to share my screen. You see it now? It's doing something weird. Uh, hold on. Okay. This is what it's showing me. I don't even know how I got to that. I don't know what this is. Hold on. I don't even see your thing. You broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's exactly what you're supposed to see. That's exactly what you're supposed to see. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. I was like, am I supposed to see a map or am I supposed to see my character? Yeah. yeah. So that's the, the map that you're trying to reveal for the monies. But other than that... Well, I say we go... Oh. We go up one square. Also, the fact that okay. it opened to Gigantorous is annoying. Can we go up? Okay, yeah, sure. So Pankog picks the first one. Up it is. That's going towards the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Lushu uses foresight. Okay, so this is the map you guys are trying to reveal. And you said you're going to go up? Yes. Yes, up one. Um, doing, Let me go to Fantasy Grounds. Um, so you only can go upright, downright. So I guess upright? Yes, upright. Okay, so boom. There, there's and your square. Also, um, basic. I think you're still in control of my character. Um, go ahead and should be able to oh, say. Mine. Yeah, it is. You should be able to claim them. Yeah, it says you're. It says you own them. Owned by Crimson Rose. Um, it doesn't look like I can move. Wait, someone might. Be, someone might be on top of you. Everyone's no. Everyone's name, if you have a look up top, is in bold, but Corin's isn't. Does that mean that we've selected control of our character? Oh. Mm. And when we load in, we have to choose which character we want to control. And um, okay, uh, the great. game says that Corin owns it, and everyone's bold for me. Huh? Yeah, um, I oh, hold on. I gotta. So you guys move into this square, um, or hex. Every hex is, could take like an hour to get through because of the the hazards that you gotta avoid and okay. uh, anything that you can do. Um, let's see. Uh, who decided to go this way? Pancake. Ooh, I like this idea where we rotate decisions. Okay, mm. so that means pancake. You roll a d6. Oh god, roll a d6. Roll a d6. Did it roll? Yeah, just grab a d6 and throw it into the chat. I don't see a chat. The chat box. Screen, take it out. Oh, just um, click on the black square anywhere, and you can drag it. You can drag where. Yeah, it, drag it around. Just drag it to the right, and then you should see the chat, my dude. Okay, cool. Now. All right, two. All right, as you, you're pushing your way into the this uh, new area, um, it kind of opens up into a wide area of uh, tiny white flowers that uh, look interesting. And uh, Jordan is obviously like, ah, I can't believe we're here and doing this. Um, but uh, the area is filled with these tiny white flowers. Um, you guys are going to have to... I these flowers. <laughs> okay. Um... Has your one got a nature like spec to see if they know anything about these flowers from like first glance? Like they can tell just by looking at them. Okay, they probably release spores. Don't go near them. Like maybe not the name uh, of it. What about our believe druid? I do. What about our druid? <laughs> yes. I've got plus two in medicine. Nature. It's nature. No, no, that's not good. That's zero. <laughs> no, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone wants to roll with nature, yeah, you're allowed to, obviously. Yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got a plus one, but I don't think it'll really I've help. I've got a plus one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I kind of think our druid... Think our yeah, Corin? Corin? Oh, wait, she, uh, they're, they're muted, yeah, so let's, we'll wait for them. Ah! Uh, I mean, I can see if I get You a can roll, one. yeah, you can roll it. Well, look, look, you've already rolled a two, <laughs> so the bad roll is out of the way. <laughs> So, <laughs> go for it, my dude. Well, I mean, I mean, I could do that, or I could uh, somehow roll on that one. <laughs> Yo! Yo, and there's the natural 20. 
<laughs> what, what did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you, dude? That was the good one. Um, well. Okay, so it's a 21. We'll say, uh, <laughs> since you were able to apply your knowledge of uh, your favorite train of forest, and uh, you you recognize the, the species, however, or the, the type of flower, but you don't recognize the species, um, you assume that it is very, it's uh, special to this particular swamp. Um, go ahead and roll a perception or perception or survival. I'll let you choose. Survival, because I have a um, plus four in survival. Oh yeah, it is good. Oh my god! <laughs> you just rolled. All right, hacks. You just got two twenties in a roll. Nice. Yo, can we just let Pancock do this entire? Right, might as well. Holy crap! Two twenties in a row. All right. It's correct. Okay. That's so good. It's amazing. Okay. Um, you uh, as you as you approach this uh, d delicate looking white flower, um, you kind of reach your hand over to inspect it a little bit closer, and before your hand actually touches it, you're uh. Your a piece of your clothing actually brushes against it, and you see it go, and it kind of starts to go up in flame. But you, you able to pat it back down quickly. Um, and then Jordan catches wind of this and says, "Now you know why it's called the fire swamp." <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, good, good point. <laughs> yeah. So everyone needs to roll a perception, or besides pancake, they just did it. Everyone needs to roll a perception. Or survival check. Just, Your uh, choice. Froze. Your what? I think Pancake just froze. Fuck. Oh, there you go. Lost Pancake. There, there, you there she is. Um, sorry, it was perception or what, sorry? Uh, or perception just... or survival. Your choice. Oh, uh, well, I got plus three in both and I'm proficient in both. So... Whichever one, perception. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm getting them out of the way. I'm getting them out of the way. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Survival. Ah. Oh no! Oh, I, go, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I tried. There's the net one. All right. Uh, I, I, I gotta write really your guys' good. names down here. I, uh, I guess I, I broke the system because I had two twenties. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you used up all the good rolls already. All the RNG, you just it. What did you want me to roll? Use it, uh, roll a perception or a survival, yeah. Um, Pancake, you already passed. Yeah. Okay, I think I passed very, very well. Um, so you wanted me to roll what? Perception or survival, your choice. Vesa, can I, uh, somehow collect some pollen from these flowers? Uh, without burning yourself? Yes. You can try. Since, since I, I did get a natural point. Yeah, you already used that skill, though. You can't compound that use of that role. Do you have anything to put it in, like an empty yeah. vial? That would also be another thing. You need a con you would need a container. Yeah. Um, what can what can really contain fire? <laughs> the glass will get really warm, so that'd be a nightmare. Hang on, let me see. Uh, it's better, it's better than echoes. <laughs> leather. Um, okay, so be Pancake, before you do anything, Lushu, Echo, and Corin, you each take one damage. Okay, fine. A little bit of a spicy flat fire. Twenty six HP. Uh, there you go. As God damn it. Um, as you guys are, you know, you it's taken like an hour to wade through this multitude of bushes, avoiding these the flowers the best you can. Um, Pencog makes it the way through, but uh, the rest of you get uh, a little t tinge of burn. And every time uh, it happens, Jordan says, "You don't want that to happen again." <laughs> kind of a he just kind of. Drops a little bit of a warning there. Basically, he's being an ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, okay. So that is so that is your first hex. Who's going next? It's uh, Echo's turn to decide where we go. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna carry on in that path and go one square. You know, directly near it. So you can go upright, um, bottom yeah. right, or down. Upright. You're gonna go upright? Yeah. Right. So the boom. So that way? Cue Final Fantasy mob music. There we go. Boom. Whoa! Why did that happen? Hmm? 
Does everyone see? Okay. The whole thing got revealed to me for some reason again. No, I believe so. I still only saw three. Yeah. No, still black. Sick. All right. Um. Okay. So you move up, and Echo, you chose that, right? Yep. Roll a d6. Oh. Dude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. As you kind of, you're, 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 as you're uh, pushing your way, avoiding these spicy flowers, uh, you come to somewhat of a clearing of uh, jets of water. <laughs> Just a, a landscape of geysers. Um, they're... The smell of sulfur is thick in the air. Mm. That that water is too hot to go near. We need to avoid that at all costs because that's going to be. Uh, with, uh, with the sulfur, it would technically be flammable too. Yeah. Sulfur if there's good. enough sulfur in the water, you don't know that. Well, I, it's a fire swamp. I'm going to assume there's enough sulfur to How get in big, water. How so how wide is the water? Oh, it, it's okay. So you know, Lord of the Rings, where it's like. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Dead marshes. <laughs> they go round for miles. That thing. Yeah. So, like, okay. you walked into this area in massive clearing. Like, you you can always go back, but then you have to deal with the the flowers oh, again. I can't, I can't jump it then. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you can't jump it. No. Okay. No. So, uh, so I'm imagine really each of these hexes try, is but... like, each of these hexes is large enough that it might take you like an hour to get through. So be aware of that. So like every hex you do, at least an hour passes in time. So it's like um, 7 p.m. We, or a.m. Can we call upon our druid friend's nature magic to possibly fashion a bridge out of vines and like stuff, like you know, kind of over the water? If she has sure. that kind of ability, I mean, uh, she, she'd have to probably do it multiple times because this is it's a large area. Um. Uh... Hmm. Jordan kind of say... he kind of walks forward and he he kind of looks into the springs. Um, he's a and then he stands back up and he brows furrowed, thinking to himself. He's like, I've heard stories of these waters. They have uh, the power to either heal or destroy. No one has yet found the reason for the duplicity, but uh, some travelers have taken the chance. Why does this sound like I'm like getting the job. one half? This is sounding like a gamble and I kind of want to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I have plus five survival, so I am, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll with survival. Let's see if, no, uh, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Yep. We need to think, we need to think. <laughs> I want to see what uh, the chances are of survival. Uh, uh, are, are you going to, are you going to, uh, are you going to take a drink? No. Okay. Oh I'm gonna stand back and have pure wounds. Wait a minute. So, so what were you rolling survival for, Echo? If I could survive that uh, river, lake, water. Oh, you you didn't need to roll survival in here. Uh, you can. You, we'll let you keep that roll if you want. Um, if you want to roll it for something. Uh, but essentially, you're just gonna be. Cr you're able to. Uh, Jordan is able to walk into the river, and it seems like he, no damage is being done to him. Um, I'm gonna ask him if I can ride on his back. In a <laughs> he kind of looks at you strangely because you're about the same height or same size as him, and uh, he turns back around and he <laughs> just making his way through uh, the swamp. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Well, so far, what 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 we what we can tell is people who use magic seem to be okay. He's gonna like he's gonna reach in. He, he, Jordan like pulls off one of the canteens from his pack and uh, empties its contents out and uh, fills it up with uh, some of the swamp water and puts it back. Okay. I'd tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to, because I'm guessing... So you're, you're telling me that anyone who touched this water, some survived, some didn't? Um, Question. Clear, hold on a minute. Uh, for clarity, it wasn't that he touched it, people that drank it. You could have drank um, it. He said um, it had a potential to either heal or harm. What was your question, okay. Pancake? <clears throat> My question is, Corin can cast Bark Skin, which means that our armor class cannot be less than 16. It's a concentration spell. She only can do it to one person. Yeah, but if we each go past the water, she can she not cast it again? It's uh, not a cantrip either. That would be blowing her... Ah! 
skill wow. slots. Plus, it's a giant. It's a giant area. You're not like skipping a pond, you know. You she, you would be far out of range before she could like See, this cast is on why someone we else. Our barbarian still, so he could literally just skip us. <laughs> just attack the swamp. <laughs> just throw us across. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be dope. Um. Okay. What about what about what about jump? The ring of jumping. Corin can do that. Ooh, I have that as well, I believe. No, I think it's Lushu just has a ring of jumping. I have, yeah, I have the ring of jumping. But he can't, yeah, he yeah. can't Last jump a mile, Pancake. You'll be surprised if I hit that, that 20, mate. I don't think you can jump a mile. You, you can try. It, it says that he can jump no, no, but the, the way I see it is, is, okay, this is where I see it. Jordan is a half elf, which means he's roughly, he's over seven foot tall. We know that. And he is wading through the water. I'm a full elf and I'm eight foot Three, I believe I am, so that'll be fine. Yes, I know walking through it. I know walking through it will be fine. I'm not gonna drink it because knowing Lucius luck, it's all gonna go downhill. Yeah. Jordan, so, uh, you guys are just kinda of looking at the swamp and he's just sloshing his way through. You guys coming? You wanted to do this. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going... <laughs> question, question. Yeah. How deep is the water for my tiny little, I think five foot four elf? You'll be fine. Just, you know, if you see the water getting deep somewhere, be, just take maybe it. avoid it. <laughs> I don't know. Use a stick. Point, poke some stuff in front of you if you're really worried. <laughs> uh, but you guys I just kind of... I'll wade through the water. You just kind of wade your way through? Is everyone wading yeah. on through? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys... I can just imagine our dragon friend, like, doggy paddling. Through. Yeah. <laughs> With the tail. I'm <laughs> it in. Um, okay. Uh, you guys make it through without a hitch. Oh my god. None of you took a chance to to drink the water. Uh, Jordan does have a, a canteen full, though. Uh, being the uh, scientist man. Uh, as far as you know, he's bringing it back to camp for studyage. Alright, who's next on the D6 roll? It'll be Corin. I like this. It's putting your guys' fate in your own hands. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's out of my hands. <laughs> so just grab a d6 and throw it into chat. Okay. And then we'll decide which direction you guys go. D6. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. You should just grab a d6 and throw it. There you go. A two! No. That seems to be the theme. Everyone, uh, roll a perception or survival check. Um, Corin didn't say which way we were supposed to move yet. We haven't moved. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But which way do you want to go, I guess? Oh. Survival check. Survival. Uh, I'm proficient. Let's go. It, perception or survival, your choice. Seventeen. Ah. I'll take it. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. That is a ah, biscuit eater. Echo, roll of survival or perception. Uh, same with you, uh, Corin. Echo. Uh, I did. What should I roll? You gotta drag it into chat so we can oh, see no, it. No, 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 no. Um, didn't she already rolled the nineteen? Because that was yeah, the last roll. We can use that. that. Yeah, she got. You said she. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Cool then. Awesome. So it's just uh, Corin. Ah. Oh, no, Corin already rolled. No. She no, Corin didn't roll yet. D6. D6. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. That was me with the whole roll. I'm gonna die. <laughs> also, we'll need to know uh, the direction you guys want to go. Ooh, nice, nice roll. Uh, pancake. Uh. You take one damage. Um, and uh, Corin, which direction did you want to go? Did you want to go? Down or up? I guess up. And go up. Boom. So guys, push through. Same thing that happened earlier. The just avoiding those, those spicy little flowers. Just another whole area full of those flowers. Uh, you all make it out without a skate, but uh, except for Pancake this time, she got got a little a little bit of a singe. Who's next? It's uh, Jordan. Uh, he, he's so a. Do he, you get the roll, or is if not, it'd be me next. Yeah, it would be you then. Okay then. So d6. Bop. What is with these twos, dude? Uh, okay. Know, Which direction are, are you going? Also, I should be rolling for Jordan, um, huh? I can go top right, bottom right, up, top left, and bottom left, right? Uh, hold on a second. I gotta. I forgot. I need to roll for Jordan. Uh, perception of survival. He's gonna roll this first. First one. <clears throat> Barely makes it, and that one he rolls a one, so he takes damage too. 
How much health does he have? You don't know yet. <laughs> so you guys don't technically know how much health any of you have. Okay, I'm just gonna go top right. Uh, you're gonna go top right? Top right, yeah. Yeah, because you can go up, right, or top right, yeah. Boom. Yeah, top right, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, roll a d d6, my dude. <laughs> okay. Ooh, something new. <laughs> something new! Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up last time. Uh, the geysers exploding. There was no geysers there. It was just a big old sulfur springs. This one is the geysers. Oh. <laughs> uh, scalding hot water. Okay. <laughs> um, you guys, everyone do a perception check or a... Acrobatics being a rogue. No. Because um, I'm a jumping and stuff as well, so I could use that with acrobatics. Oh, yeah. I think it, it. Well, you, you would. The only way you would do acrobatics is you would have to know what's coming, and to know what's coming, you'd have to listen for it. So you might have to do a perception again. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah. I can. I can go. I'll roll a perception then, just in case. I'm proficient in it anyway. Oh, so. Um. Oh. Yeah. Oh, please, here we go. That's not bad. Okay. It's not okay, great. What about, not uh, what, what about Jordan? Or oh Jordan? yeah, he, he's got to roll it. Hold on. Horn doesn't know anything that's going on. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Like, whoa. Uh, I get, I, remind me to clear chat every time we do this so I can easily see it. Echo, you're fine. Pancake, you're fine. Corn, you're not. Lushu, you're not. <laughs> and Jordan is. Okay, so. Um, Lushu and Corn, roll a deck save. Oh, no. oh. oh! I got a plus seven to deck save, so we're good. <laughs> Don't be a one. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Your boy. This is your boy. <laughs> Let's go. Holy crap! I am good. <laughs> You're gonna break it for Corin now. Probably. I'm so sorry, Corin. Yeah, this is this is one of the bad areas. Hey, what roll do you need me to? Uh, roll a deck save. It'll be on your main tab. Where would it say death save it? No, dex. Dexterity. Tab? And then on the right hand side of your main tab, you've got saves. And then you've got uh, the second one down is dex. Oh, dex. I at least have a plus five for dex. I thought saves. you were saying a death. I was no. like, oh my god. <laughs> make, make sure you roll the dex save, not the dex ability. <laughs> Yo. Oh. You guys both manage to dodge away. Scalding water just jetting up next to you. Um, you can actually feel the damage or the heat from this boiling water that could have just singed you alive. Just explode next to you. Um, Jordan definitely has a, a worried look upon his face going through this area. Um, this one seems to be um, something that definitely is uh, probably one of the more dangerous areas of the swamp. Uh, but you guys managed to make it through unscathed, like oh, legends. Yeah, Holy man. crap! Um, so it will uh, it'll start again now, so it'll be Pancog who gets yep. to. Pancake, so. which direction you're going? Um, you going? Oh, you can go multiple ways. You can go up left, up, up right, bottom right, pretty much everywhere but down. You can go. Let's go bottom right. <clears throat> bottom right. I uh, roll a d6. Roll a d6. A four! Something new! Awesome, awesome. Okay. Everyone roll a perception or survival check. Your choice. Uh, Jordan. Oh! Kills. Oh! oh yeah, he's gonna roll survival. I think all of us just got done. <laughs> oh. I think it's literally oh. everyone. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh. Oh, Corey needs to roll. Yep. What, uh, what roll do I need to make? Perception or survival. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, oh God. God. It's never when the DM starts laughing to himself. You know it's uh, not. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm laughing because this this could be very interesting. How you guys solve this? Oh, can I try rolling that again? Because for some reason it just it didn't roll a lot for us. But, you gotta yeah, put it, it in the chat box. Me. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. You all failed, even Jordan. Uh, okay, um, okay, so you guys just walked into 
an area of quicksand. Oh, oh, fuck. Shit. Um. What do we gotta? What do we gotta roll? Uh, you need to find a way to get the fuck out of the quicksand. Um, is there any trees around? Oh yeah, you're in a swamp. There, there's trees. Just, how are okay, you gonna grab them? So, well, I have rope. There you go. There, that, like, there's thinking. Okay. Um, so I tie like a uh, noose around it <clears throat> to try to lasso uh, one of the branches. Okay. Um, what do I have to roll for that? Roll a strength check. A, strength a check. Check? A check, not a save. Oh. And you make 13. it. You, you were able to oh. pull yourself out of the the swamp or the the quicksand. Oh, thank fuck. What the else are you guys doing? Okay, um, uh, you all you all manage to see Pancock quickly grab the rope from her pack and. I'm going to get a cro my crossbow out and get my um my rope and shoot into a tree to try and get uh, a good leverage. Go for it. I like that idea. Uh, roll a strength. Same thing. Strength check, not a save. Um, <clears throat> can I throw the my leftover rope once I'm safe to one of my, my party members? Sure. Uh, you, you can uh, roll. Uh, what would you roll to see if you can actually throw it to them? Um, you pass as well. Echo manages... Quick thinking ties it to a, a bolt and took athletic maybe sticks straight into a tree and manages to pull herself out of hand uh to throw the rope I, th I think you would be athletics and the person who wants to catch it would be sleight of hand right now sleight of hand i don't think would uh pertain here i think I'm... it would have to be a strength check to see if they even can pull themselves out. athletics it would be athletics for the person catching it or strength yeah it's a yeah, because you're being pulled down. I don't think you'd be able to athletics out of that. Um, we can say, however, let's do... Um, okay, so Pancake, normally you would do like a, a throw weapon, but I'm just going to say uh, roll a, a strength check to see if you're able to... Because that's a lot of rope, you know? Let's see if you can aim it. Oh, fucking natural 20. Yeah, you just... Uh, uh, who are you throwing it at, by the way? Corin or Lushu? Uh, I'm gonna say probably Cor or Lushu, because I don't think Lushu is gonna break the tree branch I threw it on. Does Lushu even have rope? Oh, yeah, Corrin. yeah, no, yeah, because I'd be really light being a rogue, so, and Corin's a big dragon. <laughs> so, Lushu, do you even have rope? I do, I have... So Pancake's um, just wasting her rope on you? You lazy bastard. Yeah, but, but that means we have an extra 50 feet of rope to use at any time. Sure. So... Okay, so you, you got the rope throw to you. Go ahead and roll a strength to see if you can pull yourself out. Uh, watch me. One. I just... strength, strength check, not a save. And then I really would have wasted that on you. Oh! Totally. No. no. Oh, you fuck! Just... God, <laughs> you're, you're, you're really wedged in there. You found a really quickly sinking spot. You're just... <laughs> Uh, uh, you're you're about uh, you know, waist high, deep now. Okay. Corin, well, Corin what are you doing? I don't move. I stand completely still. Cause that's what you're supposed to do in quicksand. You do not move. <laughs> I won't fall any further. Corin, uh, what are you what are you doing? Um, I'm actually not sure if there's a way for Corn to get out of the quicksand. I mean, um, you've been seeing um, everyone else use rope. Look pretty smart. Unless right, one of them want to... big ass fucking dragon. I mean, you could tie a rope to a tree trunk. Also, you big ass true. dragon got them big ass wait, dragon beefy arms. Wait, 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 wait. So, Corin, you have rope, right? I don't... You know. could... We can see if we can strength check it to see if you can even throw it to either me or, or uh, Echo. Yeah, I have rope. We can tie it around the trunk of a tree. Oh, Jordan needs to roll, too. Okay. Oh, shit. He has garbage strength. That's gonna be fun. Oh god. Ah! Yeah, uh, Jordan fails. Yeah, Watch us lose our healer. <laughs> uh, Jordan, he's, he's, he's right next to Lushu and they're both sinking. Oh, that's why they're sinking faster. They're both next to each other and the, their, their movements cause them to sink a little more. Um, so what, what do you think of the idea, Corin? Um, since I have a rope, um, I might just throw my rope to you. <laughs> Um, and see if someone can, like, tie it around a tree trunk. Go for it. What would that be a roll for? Uh, roll a, roll a strength, Corn. 
Strength check. Also, uh, Jordan is gonna reach for any nearby branches or vines he can see and doesn't grab anything. Oh, stop! <clears throat> I was gonna say, please, not Cor. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> Jordan's gonna die. Wait, did the Lord go through? Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh, that roll! You guys doubted her, too. Mm -hmm. oh! uh, you rolled a save, but that's fine. Oh, my God. Let's see, what would your check have been? Oh, your save is your check. That's funny. Um, Okay, yeah, you, you managed to pull yourself right out just fine. Lushu and Jordan, on the other hand, are in a bit of a predicament. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. still near you. Yes, consider it like can <clears throat> who's the rope closer to, me or Jordan? I'm safe to you. Okay then. Because you, you acted so, on it, right? Can I can I can I reach far enough to grab it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do that <clears throat> and then um I'm gonna pull it as close as I can and link arms with Jordan. I'm gonna tell us to link arms so that we can both like move to the point where we're both holding on to the rope. Um okay. And then try to pull ourselves out that way as one unit. So that, you know, it's two people pulling. It should be a little bit so, easier, hopefully. We could pull from side, our side, side as well. Thing. Right, I was going to say, side thing. Could we pull if he holds on to the rope and Jordan? Could me, Echo, and Corin, since we're now safe from the, the quicksand, could we... That's true, we like, have two ropes, it's true. Them. Yeah. I, I, will, I will floor them out. That sounds smart to me. So I should take Pancake to look closer, and Jordan should take Echoes because it's closer to him. What is he taking? Is he taking Echoes rope because she used hers with the the bow, um, and Pancog used. Um, oh, I thought you were still linked with Jordan. I thought you were yeah, linked him up there. with one rope. Uh, well, oh, okay. Well, in that case, um, I think we're, we're we are on Pancog's rope. So yeah, what do we need to roll to see if we can? Roll a, yeah, roll a strength, and then uh, all three, everyone else that's helping, uh, roll a d20, and a 10 or more. Okay, okay, help that's pretty good. <clears throat> well, to be fair, oh. the rope is still attached. The rope oh. is still attached. So... Oh! It's yeah. up to Pancake. I did it. I did roll. It's rolled a five. Oh, you, everyone I, rolled, I, you rolled a four. Um, it was just a d20, but it's fine. Um, the modifier for their ability. They might have a plus one. Do I, do I need to set something off? Oh, hold on. Uh, Jordan, we'll, we'll have him roll, too. He's gonna fucking fuck it up. He rolls a one. Oh. 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 Wait, can, can, can we say that I'm okay? <laughs> I want a 16. <sighs> Jordan's oh wait, no, you guys made it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you you guys are fine. Um, because you guys didn't help them at all. Essentially, you you were, you were pulling the rope, but Cereal or uh, Lushu and Jordan were the ones actually using the strength to pull themselves through. <laughs> so you guys you guys managed to pull yourself out of there. Okay, thank God for that. <laughs> oh my God. Jordan was too badass to lose this early. Okay, mate. so you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So uh. Six hours have passed, so what well, you guys started at like six a.m. So it's about noon now. Um, um, that was, that's who's also, next? Thirty gold, right? That's thirty gold as well. Right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, next is Echo. Well, okay. did we take a short rest? Um, also, I didn't actually make you guys roll for anything for the first hex. Well, to be fair, that, that, we, we can count that one as not. We can count that one as the entrance. Well, that's the entrance is technically gold. supposed to be outside of that hex. Well, DM fucked up, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's what, you're getting away with it because DM fucked up. So who, who's next? Um, Echo. She gets to choose which way we go. Yeah, where are we going, Echo? Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, pop. Okay, so you can go up, upright, down right, or down. You can go any direction. So I'm gonna go down right. Down right. There we go. Every, or roll a d6. Yes. Oh. Uh, hey. A four! <clears throat> okay. Um. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. Roll a perception or. Everyone roll a perception or a survival. 
Perception is Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go with perception oh, this time, not playing survival. And I should have done it! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, well, Jordan's alright, all of us. <laughs> oh, Jordan is alright, barely. Oh, no. Okay. Um, apparently, this area of quicksand is not over. Oh, no! <laughs> you did it. Are you fucking kidding me? This is a gigantous area of quicksand. And everyone but Jordan has found himself stuck into some more quicksand. Okay, well, <laughs> I still have rope. <laughs> I mean, you guys still have your rope. I'm, I've you know, you, you gather it up afterwards. Okay. But Jordan is the only one that's sinking. We could borrow your rope, and then we could all hold on to it, and we continue to hold on to it until we're out at the exit. So well, should we throw it to corner, throw it to Jordan we... first? Yeah, obviously. What's the thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Mason just said that we all have our ropes still, because we, we gathered it right Yeah, you all have your ropes still. It's okay, not a consumable. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna attach... all try together, it might be easier. Yeah, everyone tie themselves together, and then someone use another rope, because it'll take 50 feet to tie all of us together, I believe. 10 feet each. Um, we'll only have 10 feet left. I'm guessing it's more than 10 feet, because Jordan's all over the other side. We'll use that remaining 10 feet to tie to another bit of rope that we've got, and throw that to Jordan to help yeah. pull us over. I think that'll be the best thing to do. Well, so, are, are we already in the quicksand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, perception of survival is to avoid the quicksand. Oh. Okay, well, we did it, great. Yeah, we're already in the quicksand. Yeah, and we'll as uh, our again. lovely DM like has stated, Jordan has yes. crappy strength checks. Oh yeah, he, d he obviously, he has a horrible strength. <laughs> Well, so, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to trick shot uh, an arrow that I tied rope to, to tie off, uh, so that I can pull myself out. Okay, roll a strength check. You are still stuck in quicksand. Uh, okay, it's... but did my trick shot work or not? The the rope? Yeah, sure. It's, it's attached to a tree somewhere. Actually, you know, we'll say okay. that's okay. what... Your your strength was good enough, but you and you pulled it back out of the tree. Okay. It didn't. The arrow didn't quite stick. I'm gonna get my bow and arrow again because I've still got some bows left. You're gonna do it again. And All right. I, yep. Tie us together. Okay. Uh, strength check. Okay. Is that just uh, echo? Yes. Oh my god! It rolled as fifteen and it didn't show up. Yeah. Make sure it goes into the chat box, otherwise it doesn't count. Yeah, I got I, I got too happy. Oh god. Yours also these uh these trees don't seem to have very much purchase with the the arrows it seems. Just the arrow sink just bounce right off of it. Can I can I can I yell at Jordan to tie off the rope that reached that got pulled out when we strength checked? Sure. Um let's we'll make him he's not doing anything except being lazy. Yeah, but let's see. He will roll a. Um, he sees a, he sees an arrow go flying off. Um, and he kind of walks his way over, making sure that he's not gonna, you know, get caught in quicksand. And uh, he he retrieves the arrow and the, the rope and quickly tries to find a, a sturdy tree and uh, tie it around it. So he's gonna roll a sleight of hand, and rolls really well. Okay. Um, and he and uh, ties a really really good knot to uh the base of this tree and uh, he signals for you to give it yourself a tug so strength check everybody uh, anyone that is uh near the the rope well actually uh you guys aren't that close to each other because you know you're spreading out when you're going through the swamp trying to avoid <laughs> hazards <laughs> three of okay. you ha happen to find the the quicksand um, so whoever's, uh, oh, that would have been Echo's arrow uh, that he retrieved. So Echo, you can uh, roll a strength if you want. And make sure it's the check. So um, you'll see on your character sheet, um, not not the one that says saves above, just under abilities, grab the strength and pull that in. And you make it out. You're, you're able to barely just pull yourself through the, the, the quicksand feels a little bit harder to get through than the last one but you manage to pull yourself up jordan offers his hand and pulls you uh to land and uh 
signals to go try to help the other party members. Um, Whilst I'm here, I'm gonna make sure that a rope gets to I uh, to those people that are still stuck in the swamp. Right, he's gonna he has to undo his handiwork of rope in a couple minutes. Uh, who are you gonna go try to rescue first? You guys, if you're trying to do stuff too, speak up, anyone. Who's, who's closest? It'd be, it'd be better to go for Corin first, because they'll, they'll be okay. the one weighing the most and sinking. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw it at Corin. Okay. okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a strength. See if uh, you are able to chuck it. Yeah, good enough. Uh, you, you managed to make it land close enough. And uh, Corin, you're successfully able to pull yourself out as well with the help of... Uh, Jordan and Echo assisting you. They're able to get out as well. No shoe! Looks like we're, we're reaching <laughs> the end I'm, of our I'm, life. I'm, I'm, I'm just here, like, hey guys! <laughs> Still here! Hey! Bye. Hey! Well, hey we need some assisting! Can someone throw me the fucking rope? Okay, I'm gonna throw it. Even though I've read a lot of I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna whip it over. Okay, you gotta do the strength uh, check again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm a little bit of strength. Oh, jeez. Oh, I am so... That sick. one... <laughs> no, nowhere near did it land. Uh, if you would have rolled any lower, you would have just chucked the whole rope right into the quicksand. <laughs> but you managed to... Uh, you know, you retrieve it again, and oh as you sit there, Corin is slowly do. starting to sink a little bit more. No, wait, Corin got out. Oh yeah, sorry, not Corin. Lushu. Lushu's sinking a little bit more. I'm gonna take out the short bow that I have in my inventory, and I'm gonna do the same thing as Echo did. I'm gonna attach a, uh, my bit of rope to a uh, an arrow and aim for a tree above everyone. Go for um, it. So that you can pop Strength loading. check. Okay. Uh, don't fuck me over. Okay, that's decent. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. You you pull yourself out. Awesome. This, this and uh, I'll, I'll the arrow rope idea is working out apparently. And Pancake is over there, <laughs> off in the distance. You hear. <gasps> Kyrian is sitting on your your shoulder, just <laughs> just very upset. <laughs> so you guys don't even need to hear Pancake scream. Yeah, you hear Kyrian freaking out, so you know where Pancake's at. <laughs> the cake that <laughs> there you go. Okay, um, who's who's th gonna help Pancake or Pancog? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll help Pancog. I'll um, I'll hold on to. Actually, no, I'm gonna tie the rope that I just got down from the tree around the tree that I just um fired at around the <laughs> uh, trunk of it. So that it's secured, <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, throw over towards Panko. Sure, strength check. Okay, strength check. Strength check. Uh... Okay, <laughs> um, Lushu, you managed to get the rope close enough, yes. uh, but Pancog has to. This is a decision for you, Pancake or Pancog, whether or not you have to shimmy yourself like five feet to go get the edge of the rope oh, or Lushu has to like pull it back oh, who's the okay. person? So, what is what is uh, your decision Corin, yeah corn's the tallest one i'm five freaking four <laughs> um i guess i will shimmy five a little bit forward to try to get the rope what do i have to roll to say uh yeah what would you roll for that why, why would I give that idea up and not have it planned? Um, would it be dexterity? What would you say, Pancong? Would it be a duck save? Um, I mean that's to dodge stuff. I think it would be athletics. Yeah, I was thinking athletics like, too. Uh, yeah, roll an athletics. Oh. Um, you you shimmy a little too difficult, and uh, sink up to like mid torso. <laughs> Damn it. And uh, you kind of, you freeze and your eyes kind of widen and you look at the party. Um, Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Save me. I'm going to have Kyrian roll. Hold on a minute. Yeah, you're going to kill my cat. Oh, no. <laughs> you're going to kill Kyrian. There it is. Can I, can I like, 
if Killian <laughs> dies, <laughs> we will. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Can I can I toss Kyrian towards the party for to save him? Sure. Uh, it ho hold on. You were aware of that implication, right? No. I, I as a fellow player, I just want you to be fully aware of what that implication could mean if you fail. My familiar, no. not her familiar. Yeah, the difference between uh, Ludo and Kyrian is Ludo can be desummoned. <laughs> so, oh yeah. <clears throat> so uh, so Kyrian, Kyrian kind of uh, the role was trying to reach for some uh, vines and stuff nearby, but nothing was close enough for him to grab. What creature is Ludo? Um, Pseudo dragon. So they they can fly. Would it be yeah. wise for Ludo to go over and? Pseudo dragons are like this big. Oh, maybe not then. No, <laughs> it's a tiny size. <laughs> oh, okay. The size of a cat versus yep. a real woman. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Um, um, uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you still have your rope. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I pull in my rope and try and. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to pull my rope in <laughs> and cock! And chucks it. All That's right. Strength check. Oh, okay. Uh, right, okay. Uh, Loose you first. Loose you first. See if it makes it. I did it. No, nope, it didn't show up. Did it not? Strength yeah. check, 20. That like, was your last roll. No, I just rolled that. Because you flipped board. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, So yeah, Lushu lands right smack dab in front of you. Uh, Pancog, no. Pancog is uh, with a uh, Kyrian panicking on top of you, distracts you so you are not able to full, like pull yourself out just yet. You will sink. But can I tie it around myself? Sure. Um, you roll a. Um, it's gonna be difficult to do. Roll an. Uh, I'll let you choose. Well, you said it's like up to my chest, right? So my arms are free. No, no, no. It's it's like getting up to. It's up to your collarbone now, because you because you failed that strength check. Um, so I'll let you choose to uh sleight of hand. Actually, survival, because you're panicking. Or. Actually, I'll give you a couple choices. Sleight of hand, survival, animal handling, because Kyrian is the one messing you up. You could chill him out. Or athletics to just brute force tie it up, like, with your hand under this. Oh, fucking dope-ass roll. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, fuck this noise. Bam, and you tie it to your, your stomach. Okay, so uh, I yell out, hey, guys, I've secured myself. Pull me out! Right. I, I, I'm gonna start pulling. <laughs> Everyone's gonna roll. Everyone roll strength. Strength check. Nice. Oh! 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 There's guys Jordan doing it as well. Let's go! Serial with the mad rolls. Everyone do Oh my god! Um, Pancog, roll a survival. Ah! Uh, <laughs> please. We just did so well. <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right. Oh, so, what just transpired is, in a panic, the entire party buckles down and heave, just, just ski doozers, like ski doozer, just straight across like the sand, the quicksand. Pancock just barely managed to keep her mouth up without just getting full of sand and gets to the land and, <gasps> and just gets up coughing. <laughs> Uh, and when when um, Pancock gets out of the sand, uh, Lucio yeah, makes a comment saying, "I hate sand. It's coarse and rough." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I say, "What you think?" <laughs> and she just I empty your the same, all the same. <laughs> she just comes off and sand falls out of it. <laughs> and with uh, all that <laughs> happening. You guys will take. I'm trying to get all the sand out of my clothes. Yeah, just dumping out the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so with that. Kyrian shakes all the sand off of him. Yeah, just trying to clean up all the sand, all the problems you guys had, and the sheer fact that you saw the actual danger of Pancock nearly just drowning in quicksand. <clears throat> you all take two additional hours just to clear this area. Ooh, so it's like three foot one, four o'clock. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah. twelve. 
Yeah, it's about four. It's about four o'clock, four. So wait, so in about an hour, two hours time, it's gonna start getting dark. So we need to. It's gonna start getting a bit dangerous here, my dudes. It's really gonna start getting dangerous. It's gonna yeah, start. More, more dangerous. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna Do you want more dangerous, Lushu? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> P praise be the DM. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. Uh, it's um, it is Corin's turn now to decide right. where we go if we're ready to move. Hopefully, uh, um, okay. Corin, you still here? You still have your your cam? Okay, you're good. Um, yeah. So, which direction are we gonna go? You can go up, upright, downright. <laughs> oh wow, you can go any direction in that hex. So left, down, downright, upright, or up. Holy crap. You're gonna go right? Upright yeah. or downright? Um, upright. Upright. And then roll a d6. Oh, huge! Alright. You come across another clearing of a very sulfuric just penetrating your nose. It's, it's, it's choking. Uh, but you come across another area of the sulfur springs. You don't need to do any rules or anything, but uh, you are aware of uh, the properties of this water that is before you. Okay. I, 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 I'm wondering if I could sample some of that water for later, but I don't think I have anything strong enough to hold it. I think you have like a, a canteen or something, right? Oh no, yep, I have a flask. Is it filled though? I can empty it. I mean, yeah, did, <laughs> same thing Jordan did, just turn it upside down and get out of here. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, could I gather some of my uh my flask? Of course. You just anyway. dump out your water and. Tired if somebody was dying. Because it could save someone's life. Um, actually, you'll you'll want to change your or add to your inventory a uh, flask of fire or uh, sulfur fire swamp sulfur springs, I guess. Yes. Okay, um, even though I haven't actually got it in my inventory for some reason, but I should have it, um, because it's something that I chose to start with, so I've obviously forgotten to put it in my inventory, but I've got my, um, poisoner's kit, which includes, um, a bunch of vials, chemicals, and other equipment necessary to make poisons and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, could I take one of the empty vials from that, which could hold a poison, mm -hmm. and instead use it to sample some of that water also but i'm not going to drink it i'm going to keep sure. it. i mean I'm wait until... it's not it's much really it's going to be very small yeah, it's very I'm small gonna... yeah i want to see if i can possibly at some point use it as some sort of like salve over my weapons to do more damage if like we can learn more about it if it heals or damages we don't know if i could figure out what <laughs> stab yourself for a heal <sighs> no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> crazier things have happened in D, &D my dudes <laughs> sure yeah you, you can have a, a small sample falling from the sky yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add um, a thing here. Okay, vial. Uh, small. I'll put small vial of fire swamp water. Yeah, that's fine. Water. Okay, there you go. Um, and after that, I guess I'm just gonna <clears throat> start walking through the same. As long as I don't drink it, just make sure I'm gonna take a few steps in. Okay. Um, who's uh, who's next on the, the order? Oh, to pick, uh, that would be, oh, Jordan, but... He yeah, he, roll, he's not rolling. Me. Um, so I'm gonna say, let's go... Let's go top right again. Top right? Can I go top right? Uh, sure can. Oh, exit! Yeah! So, you you have found an exit. You found a successful way to get through the fire swamp. However, you did find some, uh, hazards, such as the, some quicksand that, uh... Because you're gonna be given this map... To the mayor with the hazards listed out and your way through the fire swamp so essentially you're going to be showing him there's some fire flowers on the way there's some uh, sulfur springs there's an area of scalding geysers and there's a lot of quicksand so you can you guys can either continue to go through the fire swamp to ob obviously get more money and maybe find safer passages for uh the townsfolk or you just go back to town and say, you need to find what you need with the materials in this little short area. 
Hmm. I think for the sake of getting on with the with group two, um, I've... I think we did quite a bit. It's up to you guys. Like, I'm still up to play. We don't need to rush through anything. Um, after this, the fire swamp stuff is done, we can definitely get to group two. So if you guys are still wanting to play, we can't. So don't are make a group two ready doesn't... to play this session. Huh? No, uh, they they're going to be joining next session. So. Oh well, in that case, I don't mind. Getting a bit. We can um, yeah. keep exploring. I don't mind. Up to you guys. Okay, so you, well, we'll say you guys exit the, you find a clearing, and it's not a bad clearing that you've seen in the fire swamp, but it is a, the exit, and Jordan kind of plants his uh, staff down. Wait, so that was like two more hours, right? So it's like 6 p.m., um, and he kind of plants it down and squats and lets out a couple big, uh, some <sighs> sighs, and is like, well, I'd say technically our task is done. And he, essentially what I just related to you is like, we could uh, continue mapping more of the fire swamp. Be, many of those hazards would be uh, dangerous for ordinary townsfolk to get through. But uh, I'm just here as a guide. And uh, I'm here as you need. What say you? I mean, you can't go wrong with more gold, can you? Oh, um, Pancock, you're muted, by the way. I, we know you're talking, but your your mic is muted. Oh yeah, so you, oh, you've yeah. technically been mapping this like on a piece of parchment, so you can go back exactly the where you came from. You're, that'll be safe. Okay. Or, okay. It'll be safe. So, You'll, oh shit, we should have marked those, huh? Okay. Technically, we haven't we haven't run into any salamanders yet. Hold on a minute. Uh, and, I, and I feel like that that's an accomplishment in itself. Yeah. Especially yeah, since uh, our uh, our our uh, goblin friend said that they are not the friendliest of people with bows and arrows. Okay. I'm gonna um we were probably supposed to mark off these areas, right? So the first area was fire flowers. Actually, the first area was a free space. Mm. The second area was springs. Are you guys seeing these drawings or no? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um and then was it Fire flowers again, and then two quicksands. Yes. <laughs> two quicksands. Then a geyser. And then another geyser. Yeah. And this was, what was this one? <laughs> My says exit. Well, the exit's here. What was this one? Was this another sulfur spring? Yeah, I think so. I think it was sulfur. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I remember. No, yeah, it was the water we had to walk through because yeah. I selected the vial of. That's um, right. Okay, yeah. so that is, uh, <clears throat> those, those numbers are reference for me, but, uh, that way we can remember what they are. Um, so what, what are you guys choosing to do? Is the exit <clears throat> right near my character? Because it's you guys are, exit. you guys have technically exited the fire swamp. You're on the other side. I feel like this would be a good could... stopping point for us to go back to town. Yeah. Yeah. And cut the money. Sell the, sell the for sure. The people that want to get across there safely and write down the risks on there. Um, and sell them to people, perhaps. Okay. Wow. So, um, we'll say, um, to go around the fire swamp will take you <laughs> a very long time. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back through it. <clears throat> well, seeing as we've mapped this out, is it going to take us quicker to get back now? So no. rather than an, an hour per, it might take us 45 minutes, because we know that's the direction we need it'll to go. Be slightly, oh, it'll be slightly... It'll be slightly quicker but like the quicksand areas you can't just be like oh we know where the quicksand is because you don't you just know it's a quicksand area <clears throat> right mm. but you just you will know what to expect yeah we can through. i think we go around yeah we'll go around, we'll around. probably why is this that's gonna be like eight hours probably to go all the way around it at that time well it took us roughly the same time to go through the forest <laughs> so Actually, okay, yeah, so I, I miscalculated that, so it would take way longer than that, because you almost did a pretty much a straight path through the fire swamp, oh. and it took you about 12 hours. So to go around would take you 18? Yeah, a big-ass swamp. The forest again. Actually, I can calculate it. He's me. Oh, yeah, it's it would be like a... To go from where your exit is, depending on the direction you go, it would be like 22 hours to get back to town. To completely avoid the fire swamp. 
We'll stop going through that swamp, my dudes. <laughs> yeah, we're going through the damn swamp again. <clears throat> but I tell you what, I think what we should do is let's not go the way that we know. Let's try and maybe where number three is. I can't remember what number three. I think that was the the geyser. If we go down from there and make our way back round to where number two is on the entrance, not number one, um, we can earn another forty odd gold, thirty five odd gold that way, which would be handy. That's a big brain there. Yeah, yeah but like you might also get some combat as well, stabby stab stuff. So you know, I'm a uh, rogue. Yeah, dude. stab stuff. Stab stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, I vote fire swamp. Yeah, I vote fire swamp. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess. Uh, so you, re I guess. Uh, you re you relay that information to Jordan. Oh well, could could we take a short rest before we go back in? Yeah. Um, sure. Short rest is four hours, so it would be 10 p.m. <laughs> no, I mean, the only other people that don't have, uh, the only people who don't have dark vision is Corrin. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, because, um, of, um, I believe it's, where is it? I know a short rest for me counts as a long rest. I uh, trance? Which... I think you have trance. Yeah, I think it's a, an elf thing. That like all elves can can do it. Can't find the thing. It's trance, I think. Oh, it is trance. Yeah, I see. It. Yeah, trance. Yeah, so I can during that, I guess. I don't know really what that. Does that mean our, our health would go back up or not? Because I've only lost one health, and I think about it, so there's not really much point. I'm not sure. Yeah, sort of it's after resting this way, you gain the same benefit <clears throat> that a human does from eight hours of sleep. Sure. Okay, so plus one HP. Yeah, dude. <laughs> um, so you guys are gonna take a short rest. That noise. Is that my phone or someone else's? Okay. Um, let's do short rest. Boom. You guys are taking a short rest, so that should heal all you guys. Whoop. Um, um, can I can I eat one of my rations so that I'm not hungry? Yeah. You, I would assume you guys probably want to eat. So take a, a ration down from any of your rations. You are short resting. Um, you. It is 10 p.m. I'm going to have to jump off because um, I'm feeling a bit peak. <laughs> oh, no problem. Um, yeah, Still better. So I'm really sorry about that. but yeah. No, you're good, dude. We got an open table here. If you need to dip out it for any reason, you're welcome to. Thank you. I will see you next time. But I got to go. Sounds good. Bye. Feel better. Feel better. I right, See you later. Oh, no. Now I got to fix the thing. Okay. So with Echo leaving for a minute, let's take a quick five-ish minute break so I can fix the overlay. Everyone can go to the bathroom and we can reconvene in about five. Is that cool with everyone? Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. We'll be right back, my friends. Please hold. All right, we're good. All right. Let's uh get through this thing. All right, so you guys are going to go back through the fire swamp. Um, I will... uh Reluctantly. Move um echo through so whose turn is it to decide their fate or the, the party's fate rather uh who was the last one Hancock, because i was the one who got us out <clears throat> and i was last so now it restarts from the beginning so it'll be Hancock. okay so are we starting on three uh you would start where uh <clears throat> um you know you would start you would go back to six because that's uh where you entered right <clears throat> or, well, so so six was right to the e and then you got to the exit. So you'd have to go back into six or you could just we're going to go right. Actually, you actually might have another entrance. If I remember correctly. How do I undo this? Um, yeah, there's there's entrances around six if you want to use it. Uh, no, we're going to stick with what we know. Mm -hmm. so okay, I'm going to go back to six. OK, um, so you're that's back to kind of like the safe quote-unquote safe area the, with this the springs you don't kind of roll anything so i guess that that's kind of like your free square uh so who would be the next roll then echo echo all right would, grab. and then i would be corin mm -hmm. um all right so did you guys want to exp what, what's since i'm playing echo i want to play her as you guys would as a party where would you guys actually prefer to go? So what oh. we, I think we, what we all decided was, 
Once we got to three, then we would explore more up until the, the okay. number two. So go to three? Yeah. All right. So I remember um, when we got to the first number six and the second number two on mm -hmm. the map, um, bottom right of that two, top right of that six, and bottom right of that six are not accessible because we weren't allowed to go that way going through. So we'd have to go either straight down from three or maybe we could go bottom left. I'm not too sure, but we couldn't go any further than that because that bit there's blocked. I think bottom left. So yeah, I guess we would, seeing as we're safe here, yeah, we'd move to three now. Okay. Let's move to three. And so, this is taking you back. I can just reveal what you guys are doing, because you've been here. This takes you back to the Scalding Geysers. So, uh, y'all have to roll a perception. So I gotta roll Echo. Survival? Uh, no, this one's just perception. Uh. Ouch. Um, skills. Perception. Oh, hey, fuck. <laughs> Echo. Oh. Perception. I've never been glad for six teams in my life. <laughs> oh, Lushu. Oh, okay. Corin, uh, roll a perception. <laughs> oh, Lushu. My dude. Fuck everyone. <laughs> um. Okay, so. Okay, so you get too badly hurt, I got Roll it. a dex save. Okay. I'm proficient in that plus seven, so yeah, you're like the best one to roll. And it's twenty. He does it again. Oh. The fucking scalding guys are just. You hear the gurgling beneath you, and manage to jump out of the way as scalding like liquid just spews up in a fifty foot column next to you. Oh my just, god. Oof. Count your blessings, my dude, because you've done that twice now. Does he get to do something cool? Does he get to backflip out the way? Yeah. Uh, how do you How do you get out of the way? Yeah, I, I want to backflip. I want to backflip biryani. So a 180 twist whilst like doing the backflip and just land and land in like the um, JoJo Bazaar's adventure sort of. <laughs> right. Sure. Yeah. You rolled a twenty, so let's. You just you hear the gurgling and pop 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 and just <gasps> shit. Just pop backwards and land, and everyone, uh, Jordan, claps at you. He's, he's impressed because you've managed to do that twice, but he's also unimpressed the fact that you happen to find two geysers. <laughs> <laughs> so he just kind of, good job, claps. <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, Corin. Which way are we going, Corin? Uh, uh. You can go. You can go down left, down, down right, or up. Or to four, but... Uh, I might go up. You want to go up? Yeah. We want to go back to the quicksand? Oh, no, no, okay. You don't want to go that way? Go down left. <laughs> okay. Down uh, left? All right. Yeah. All right, roll a d6. Into... Rolls a three. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, geysers. Woo! Yeah, more geysers. <laughs> Uh, everyone roll a perception. perception. Alright, now we'll see if Lushu's just been showing off this whole time. Fuck! Perception. Perception. Ooh, ow. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Um, so Echo manages to succeed. How is Echo fair? This guy's are, I gotta draw three. Corn perception for you. I'm gonna have to do a save. I don't want to. Same. <laughs> you just really like, you really like disturbing those geysers, don't you, Lushu? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It reminds him of home. Corin <laughs> barely managed just to yeah, escape. Just <sighs> outside, like you feel your your dragony scales, the heat. Emanate from your face. Oh, was that your deck save? Yo, pancake. That sucks. Okay, Lushu, you got to roll a, a deck save as well. A deck save as well, plus and seven. So does Jordan. Number 20, number 20, number 20. That'll do. Jordan, deck God, save. <clears throat> oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this is going to suck. Um, Jordan and Pancog both just get enveloped in scalding liquid just explode their whole body was just inside of this geyser 
You guys are taking a lot of damage. Well, hang on, because, um, Corrin's a dragon. So, Corrin's uh, safe. He, not, not really a f Oh, wait, Corrin's- oh, who was it that were- Hancog and Jordan. Oh, it was Jordan. Okay. Yeah, that oh. fucking healer. Mm. Alright, so this is damage <laughs> to Jordan. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh! oh. That was so much damage. We okay. have potions? <laughs> oh, that was so much damage. Did you guys see how much damage that was? Oh, 24 no. damage. Alright. That's crazy. Hancock, this is for you. Oh, no. Slightly less. Bad, but oh! That's still a lot of your health, though. I mean, you've only got, like, what, 26, 27 health? 39. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How have you got 39? I've got, th I've got 27. Uh, you have a higher con, probably. Probably. I think you do, actually. Oof! So you both just get... <gasps> you, you might as well be boiled duck at this point. Just <laughs> so much damage just exploded around you. Um, you are fine. You didn't yeah, die, fine. but, uh, you are very red. You, all of the skin that is now visible on your body is brand new. <laughs> you, this was a good exfoliant, <clears throat> apparently. How, but, how, how much did the potion tell you by? Uh, it should say. I turn around, um, Lucy turns around to Jordan and says, See, you should have done a backflip like I did. <laughs> okay, so each potion uh, heals 2d4 plus 2. I'm gonna use two potions. Alright, so go ahead and roll those in chat. You said 2d4 yep. plus 2 yep. as an advantage? No. As in, it'll give you two additional life. So just roll your 2d4. <clears throat> Oop, someone gave you temporary hit points. Uh, not like that. <laughs> your first two. Um... So you would you would get your first two dice is two d four right, so that's three, and then add four, so you heal seven, so you have fourteen damage. Mm, Jordan is gonna do the same thing. But I use two potions. Yes, and she'll just go uh, mark off two potions. Oh wait 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, so each potion is two d four. So yeah, I'm sorry. So nine. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Nine. Nine plus four, because it's two twenty potion. So. so you healed twenty-four. You healed all the damage. Mm. Oh, fuck. Yes! Fuck! Ah. Uh Jordan is gonna do the same thing. And wow, he, he rolled like crap. Um so I have cure wounds. Well hold on a minute. Um yeah, so that's a spell slot, obviously. Yeah. So I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on Jordan. Uh, okay. Um, I think you can actually drag that spell onto him. Can I cast it at second level? Uh, that would be two d eight, and one. he has twelve life that is down. I mean, I shouldn't be telling you that. Um, yeah. So to cast it at second level, just click on the heal and hold it, and then right click, and it'll add another die. Remember, you only have two spell slots at second level. Right. So, how do I... How do I do it? So, in your character sheet, under Cure Wounds, click on the magnifying glass. And it'll show the 1d8. Then, grab the... Click okay, and drag the heal, and right-click, and it'll add another die. I didn't mean to click that. That's my bad. <laughs> you rolled a death save. Um, yeah, I, I, I was clicking around. So, on you my healed thing. him for 15? So, 15 plus 1 is 16. Yep. So, he is fully healed. What's... I forget what the save or uh, what's your spell save DC or ranger? I forget. Is it Dex or Wisdom? I think it's Wisdom, right? It's spell casting. Uh, verbal. No, that that's how you do it. But your uh your save your uh ability modifier. I think it's Wisdom. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure. Oh, my name Because I'm looking on the on the thing right now and it doesn't say anything about a hit or D. DC for cure wounds. Spellcasting ability. Wisdom. I was right. Okay. Oh, that's under action. Duh. Wisdom save? No. You, no, you don't. Um, your, uh, your heal should have showed 1d4. Or 1d8 plus 1, but it didn't, so I'm fixing that. Wisdom. There. Now it's fixed. Done. Um, but yeah, he's fully healed with your cure wound spell. Uh, he, uh, 
nods graciously. It's seen, uh, you're obviously a uh, steam burned skin along with uh, his skin in solidarity nods to you and uh, thank you, friend. Uh, I, I hope I shall not have to return the favor, but fear not if I shall. Yeah. Uh, knowing that this, this swamp is as dangerous as we do, I feel that it will eventually be there. Yeah, that was gnarly. That was a big fat load of damage. Um, ah. Whose turn is it now? Would it be Lushu? That was Corin, so Lushu. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say Lushu. Because that's the Lushu with me. Yeah, I think he stepped back, or stepped away for a hot second, so we'll wait for him. We're all going to die. That was insane amount of damage. That's actually scary, the amount of damage that thing. Is that its yeah. maximum damage? No, that was... That was about average. That, mm, it, that's about actually, that was lower than average. What's its maximum? Oh, no. Actually, I'm sorry. I lied. That was slightly higher than its average damage. Well, thank you for dying, headphones. Yeah, good thing uh, good thing Jor oh. Jordan took the brunt of the explosion, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good thing I also made sure I bought more than the bare minimum amount of food. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna... I'll clear the chat. I don't know why he tried to kill me. Who tried to kill you? You. As the DM. I didn't try to kill you. You stepped on it. Your fault. Blame your dice, not me. I... I... I can't even... Bl I can't even put my dice in dice. You you Hey, you used your two 20s in a row. <laughs> Have you seen those uh, digital dice that can hook up to virtual tabletops and stuff? So cool. Those exist? Yeah, the ones I sent you a couple months ago on Discord, they're like digital. They're like really expensive, though. Yeah, they were like yeah, yeah. I remember I 60 yeah, bucks yeah, or something for one. Yeah. I want it. Uh, but it's your decision, dude. Where are we going? Ooh. Um, all right. Let's go straight down. Straight down, the man says. And we are six. <laughs> more, more spicy water. But uh, I guess it's better than uh, although, um, just a little a bit. Oh no! <laughs> think in my brain. Uh, but this is just more sul sulfur springs, so you don't need to roll anything. Just uh, trudge your way through. Okay, so wait. We gotta we gotta do some time here. We did went back one, two, three, four more hours have passed. So it's it's two a.m. and uh. Echo, okay, where do you where do you guys want to go? Oh, it would be Pancog next. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, go ahead, Pancog. Um, where can I go? You can go. Where can you go? You can go down, or upright. You can, yeah, you only have two directions to go, down or upright. I guess I'll go down. Dunk. All right, roll a d6 and oh. a five. Whatever we have it add. Ooh, Whatever this is a new one. one. Oh, oh, this five. is a new one. Five. The dice are the, are just out. Yeah, now they turned on you. You, you blew your twenties, and now you got evil. Okay. It wasn't my fault. Uh, you you come into a not a clearing, but there is a a, a cave, a bear, or it's a big rock kind of formation with large trees. Uh, surrounding it. Why do I feel like we're about to fight fucking salamander? Uh, roll a d6. A d6? Mm-hmm. Five. You manage, uh, you, you manage to stumble into a salamander den. Oh, no. I knew it. And with that, we must open up a big chair. God, <laughs> Battle time. Yeah, Echo gets to miss combat now. Oh, this one will actually work. Here you go. Share. Good thing you guys healed, dude. <laughs> right? Yeah. I see a right. big question mark. Oh, there we go. That's better. I can see now. Okay, so this is where you guys kind of... I like this map. Walk in. You see them red mushrooms? I want to eat them and see what happens. <laughs> Oops. Um, where's Kyrian? Oh, I have the wrong thing open. That's why. Okay, combat tracker up. Yeah, you might want to get your combat trackers up because uh, things be happening. Uh, pancake, not that. 
Damn it. Delete. Shortcut. Delete shortcut. Why is it always me? And... What did I do to piss off the dice gods? Yes. Well, you were in their favor earlier. They, they are whimsical and fleeting. Um, but... Oh, oh, I have 33 HP. That is... Okay. Um, Pancake, roll another d6. Lucky you. You're gonna kill. You're gonna kill us all. Okay. Uh, as uh, you approach this area. Oh no. Uh. I don't think they're supposed to be that big. There you go. Shrink them down. But uh, you see. Uh, I was worried. <laughs> shit. I closed it and it. <laughs> those, are, those are meant to be five foot squares, and they're already like oh, <laughs> big, big Sally boys, dick. <laughs> Where did the um? How come it says they're both placed, but they're not? Yeah, we only see one. Oh wait, they're underneath each other, I believe. Oh, this one is. There you go. Now you can see them, right? Yeah. yeah we see yeah. swamp salamander oh. number one and swamp salamander number three. Yeah, this one for some reason is weird. You see. Oh, they do these damn. You see things. one and three, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You guys are good to go. Okay. Um. So. You come across this clearing, this giant tree in the way. Um, you guys happen to see the salamanders before they see you. And you manage to hide in some cover here. Um, but these salamanders seem to be on patrol. They're just kind of patrolling their uh, their boundary here. Um, Which direction are they looking at the moment? Are they both looking in the same direction? Or is one looking like up, one looking down to the left? Like, where, you know what, what, what do I see right I will, now? I will roll for that. That'd be awesome. Come on. Roll. <clears throat> Two rolls. Oh. Yeah, that, that guy rolled it. A 20. Um, they, they were looking um, west, um, but one of them is kind of not really paying attention. He's just kind of going about his business, just doing the patrol. But the other one seems to be really in on uh, the patrolling duty and happens to... Um, all of all of you roll a stealth. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got right. this. I will roll What's for one. Echo. You say that. I mean. And roll for. Uh, it's not bad. Seven. Jordan. Uh, okay, he rolls mine. Um. Actually, we won't we won't make him. We won't make uh, Kyrian have to roll because even if they saw him, they'd be like, "It's just a fucking panther. Leave it alone." He's just a little baby. Oh yeah, he's like... just a cat right now, huh? Um. Yeah, he's just tiny. He doesn't transform until we're actually in combat. Okay, let's do um. um stop. What, the the salamander number three manages to see Echo, um, in the bushes, and uh, speaks in a some slithery tongues to the other one. And uh, I don't think yeah, any yeah, of you can. This is one of the few languages I actually don't know. Yeah, I don't know if uh. Any of you speak their language? Hold on. Wrong button. Curious. I want to know. Would Corin? Uh, they Corrin speak Igna the Ignan. <gasps> Corin might actually be able to speak it. He might have the well, I speak common, draconic, elvish, goblin, and halfling. I am only elvish and common. Yep. Would it be like a dialect of draconic? No, it's Ignan. Because they're technically lizards? Nope. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> can Jordan speak it? Hold up. Skills. Oh god damn it. I mean, I mean our goblin friend could understand them. Nope, he can't speak it either. Alright, so none of you understand what they're saying, but they obviously have spotted you, and it is combat time. It's time for initiative! Um, um boom. Lushu, you're first. Oh, we're not throwing the shiv? Ah shit. Uh yeah, it, it auto rolls. Oh, okay then. Um So I'm first. Yes, you're first. Oh god. We need some so battle seen, music. Still haven't seen me. Um, no, he, he alerted his friend. They, they're obviously very much aware of you. Okay, but they only saw Echo. Oh, I'm standing right next to Echo. Fuck! Oh, and a 20! Um, Pancog, right to roll. No, no, Pancog, you don't need to roll. You're, it, the combat track already did. Right. Did it? Because I yes. didn't see it in chat. Um, it doesn't, it auto puts you in the combat tracker. It shows your initiative at the... I can left. do 25 with attack and 50 feet when not attacking, right? Wait, say again? How far can I move when not attacking? Um, oh, like if you dash? Like if you run? Yeah. Uh, you can yeah. double your speed. 
Double my speed. So my speed is 30, so I can move 60. 60. Yep. And each is 5. Okay, then. So in that case, 5, 10. Oh, it says now. Yep. In 20. Oh, that's really dope. I like that. Um, okay, I'm going to try and get ready for flank. Okay. So I'm going to move here. Can I? Does it, does it move? Um, I have. I Essentially, what it says is then I approve it. So you don't like get oh, a messed okay. up thing. Oh, that's sick. That's so Isn't cool. that cool? <laughs> that's cool. so cool, dude. So okay. you dashed up there. That is your whole turn. Yes, I'll end my turn there. Yes. All right. Uh, go ahead and pass turn. Oh. Um. Oh, there. Now you can do it. Awesome. Where's the button for that? Because I seem to have lost it. I think it's the arrow in the combat tracker. Also, we need some. Oh yes, it is. Yes. There you go. I need some battle music, bro. <laughs> There you go. Um, um, so Kyrian goes on your turn, so it's technically the swamp. I will put his initiative at yours, which is 12. Okay. Um, so it's Salamander 1. How far can you move? Uh, he's going to definitely move towards the... Oh, you. Mm. Okay. Just he's going to okay. head towards the direction that he saw Echo. Where's Echo? There she is. So he's gonna 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I thought he could use this. There it is. Um, okay. Out of range, so he's not gonna do anything. Um, but you can see, like, uh, he, he, he draws his spear, and uh, as he holds it, he kind of just squeezes it, and uh, the, the, uh, the metal seems to get super heated. Um, it's gonna be Echo's turn. Uh, I don't know how to play Echo. She has Eldritch Blast. That's probably what I'll just end up doing because it's the best move. I'm definitely gonna Eldritch Blast. I think she, she has a crazy range on that too. 120 feet? Yeah. Um, she's going to zing at the dude that's coming for her. And she missed. Uh, Pancake, it's your turn. Okay, as a bonus action, I'm gonna cast, uh... Hunter's Mark. Okay. On what salamander are you? Which, which one? Uh, salamander one. One, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna cast uh, Hunter's Mark on Salamander one. Do you have a range for that? Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 5, 60. Yeah, you have range. Okay. Yeah, it's 90 feet. Um, Hunter's Mark. And you're doing that on Salamander one? Yep. Okay. Um, go ahead and. Uh, Click the effect on yourself. Actually, I might be able to just draw that to you. Boom. You have Hunter's Mark on yourself. Go for it. Okay. Um, I want to move um, two squares over. No, hold on. 30 feet. Okay. And then I am going to draw my bow and arrow. Mm -hmm. But I'm also going to cast... Uh, Hail of Thorns at first level. Hail of Thorns. Okay. What's that? Which, uh, I, I choose a creature you can see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Uh, I don't, you might not be able to do that at the same time as your Hunter's Mark. Because, uh, your Hunter's Mark is a concentration spell. What'd you call it? Something of Thorns? Hail of Thorns. Hail of Thorns. Bam. Yeah, because it's also a concentration. Yeah, you would not be able to have them both at the same time. <sighs> oh, well. I, I attempted. Um, so then I'm just going to give me one second. I want to double check. I feel like I have a feat. You do. You have Sharpshooter. It's under your Ranger powers. Yeah. So if you expand that, you can click the effect and it'll add that effect to you and it'll just auto do it for you. How do I do that? So click the magnifying glass. Uh, you no, know, you need to be in your uh, your character sheet under your actions. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Action. Okay. Uh, sharpshooter. Okay. And sweet. It's applied to you. Now you should be able to attack and it'll do uh, everything for you. So, <clears throat> uh, you want to drag it on them too, but uh, we all keep the roll. Uh, you rolled an eight, which I don't think hits. Let me check. No, you miss. 
and with the haste of just trying to do some supreme damage the arrow goes and flies right by him <laughs> uh Kyrian uh, can go too okay um Kyrian just moves beside me uh you want to move him beside you yeah there you go <clears throat> um salamander three also makes his way down five 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, he might be able to make that now. 30. And he, you're within range. He also holds onto his spear and powers it up. And he's going to huck the spear at you, Pancog. <coughs> and he hits you. Ow! He just did max damage. Oh. He might as well crit. Um... You succeeded your concentration check, but you did just take 16 damage. Um, he doesn't have his weapon anymore, though. Um, technically, you, you were supposed to take more because I forgot to do his effect, but we'll skip it. Um, let's see. So that would be his turn. Corrin's turn. How many spaces can I move? Uh, six. <clears throat> okay. You can move up to where it'll say 30. If you just want to move and do something, but if you want to run, you can move up to 60. You only want to move 10 feet? Yeah, I just want to move up and over six spaces. So probably about there. Okay. I think I'll end my turn. Um, you're not going to do anything? Actually, we're, we're no, not going to do some stuff. Oh, sorry, I can do some stuff. Ranged attacks. I was going to say, don't you have like an earthquake or something type spell? Yeah, I do. I just completely forgot that I have ranged attacks for some reason. You're a spellcaster druid. You have a bunch. I might try a Earth Tremor. Earth Tremor. A level one spell in a 10 foot radius. What's the casting distance? Uh, that happens on you. On top of you. You don't get to cast that at range. Can I do ice knife again? Ice what? Ice knife. 5, 10, range 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. yeah, you're within range. Um, I don't know. I'm looking it up on D&D &D Beyond right so now. So all you need to do is you just need to drag that ranged attack onto the guy you're trying to hit. Um, oh, you, you rolled a one. I know. Okay, so you, fortunately nothing happened. You just kind of missed. Um, but that your turn? Hmm. Yeah. All right, go ahead and pass the turn. Okay, so it's Jordan's turn. Uh, he kind of shouts out to you guys like, This is foolish. We should flee. These monsters, they're, merc they're merciless. We will surely be devoured. Um, remember, you guys were warned in Rokax. Um, he is going to... He's going to summon... He's going to summon his spirit totem. What does that do? He's going to put it about here. It's gigantous. He's going to put it... Oh that is big. <laughs> um... What oh, the heck? There. What are you summoning? You're gonna kill everyone. That's um, a how far can how far can he cast that from himself? Okay, so he summons. Actually, he has to move. So, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He's gonna move here, and I need to check to see. Does can he just do? Can he drop it anywhere, or does he have to be within, within? 60 feet of him. Okay. So, yeah, he summons the spirit totem here. Um, and anyone within range of this bubble will get heals. N not much, but you will get heals. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, it's a big, it's a big bear spirit, by the way. Um, you'll all get temporary hit points equal to... I can read this. Let's drag this onto Lushu and Echo, Kyrian... Hancog, Porin, himself. I want to take that off. Um, and you all gain advantage on your strength checks and strength saving throws while you're within this aura. Um, actually, you get, um, you didn't get healed. Uh, Pancog, you do get healed, though. <laughs> For four. <laughs> and I think that is a, an a... Nope, that's a bonus action. Then he is going to... He might. That I got healed before. I, I already healed it. I did your heal? He is going to healing word. You. 
maybe. I don't know. What is he gonna do? <coughs> boop, boop, boop. Actually, he could have just ran. He's gonna run next to you, Pancake. So he can actually give you a good touch and try to give you a, a decent heal. And he's gonna cure wounds you, so he's technically paying it back. And he healed you for all your damage. He rolled. Wow. He rolled nasty heal. Um, and that's his turn. Um, how do I ne next? Uh, Lushu, your turn. Oh lord. Okay. How tall are these uh, tree stumps? That's a giant ass tree. A giant ass tree. How tall are we talking about? Um, like <laughs> giant. Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Easy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Easy. All right then. I, I I looked into it. I just like, whilst you guys were doing your turns, I looked into what I can actually do as a rogue, and some of it's quite disgusting. Okay. Um. Oh, so I'm excited. No, no, no. no. First, something I just figured out is due to my cunning action, it allows me to use a bonus action such as dash, disengage, and hide. So I can use dash twice in one turn. So I can move up to ninety plus because of my second story work. Um, of my rogue archetype at level 3, I now gain the ability to climb faster than normal and it no longer costs me extra movement speed. Plus, when I make a running jump, it also, uh, the distance covered uh, increases by a number of feet equal to my dexterity modifier. That included with my ring of jumping mm -hmm. means I'm about to make this look fucking cool. So, <laughs> remember if you use dash, that uses your action, so you don't, can't do anything, but you can do this. Uh, then I can use my bonus action to use dash again. Um, so, where's my thing? Here it is. Um, generic action. So, I can actually push dash right now, or you can just say I used it. Yeah, go ahead and push it. See, let's see what it does. All right, then. Uh, I push hey, oh, it, push you. Dash. There you go. Okay. Yeah, just letting you know you dash. did it. Cool. If I go to main, my speed is still 30, okay? But we know it's 60 right yep. now. It's just, so, I guess it's just letting me know that you chose the dash. What I'm going to do is then, is I'm going to go across here. Shall we say that is 50 feet, considering I just climbed the tree then? Rather than 20, that should be 50. Uh, sure, you have to roll a uh, climbing check, though. Right? Climbing check. Is that acrobatics? Unless you, it, yeah. Uh, acrobatics or... Yeah, acrobatics. Or, would that be athletics? I don't remember. I always get those two confused. Um, I would think it would be acrobatic. Sure, you are able to navigate your way up that stump. Okay, then. And, ooh. <clears throat> All right, then. From here. So you're about well, uh, 40 feet up now. I'm 40 feet up, yes. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end to... Actually, no. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a gamble. Okay. I'm going to take out that small vial of uh the swamp water the fire swamp water that is known to either harm or heal you mm -hmm. and i'm gonna pour that over both my daggers right now and use that as my bonus action okay i'm gonna prick i haven't you i've never tested it all i know is they hurt or heal so i'm taking a gamble so i'm gonna coat both of my daggers just in the bare swamp water that'll be my bonus section um and i'm gonna be staying above this tree 40 feet in the air and uh end my turn okay um, that salamander can move this direction. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, he does have his weapon on him. Oh boy. Um, he swings at Pancog. Definitely hits and does some damage. You, you succeeded your hunter's mark again. His, uh, spear is on fire. Oops. Because he supercharged it. And... He did a whopping total. Actually, no, he did a lot of damage to Pancog, but the temporary hit points absorbed a lot of it. So you only have five uh, damage done to you, Pancog. Uh, Echo. Oh, God. Um, Echo's going to move into the range. But like that. Like that. I need to sneeze. And oh, I got to sneeze. Whoa, that was a weird sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Bless you. That Thank you. Like something like that was very weird. <laughs> uh, she's gonna Eldritch blast the one that just came in and attacked. Why is why is he sun? Why is he see through? Oh, um, is she doing one or two blasts? And she's fifth level. Huh? Eldritch blast. Once you reach fifth level, you can control two beams of Eldritch blast. Uh, can she do that? That was on a character sheet I just read. Uh, yep, she's fifth level. She should have done that last time. 
All right. Ah. Nice. See, I don't play Warlock. All right, we'll we'll roll for the original. Why can't she roll for that dude? Can you guys see Swamp Dude number one? Yeah. But he seems yeah. grayed out, and there's like a red box around him. Yeah. But wait, when I actually when I when I hover over it, it says Jordan's spirit totem, like where number one is. Oh, did I? Oh, if I hover over any of the salamanders, it says. Oh, right, I think it's just like overlaid because of the area. Yeah. Okay. That's fun. It's, oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. It's underneath him. So mm. you'll have to drag over. Oh, or I can maybe I can do this. How do I move it above? I don't know how to. I guess you the... can just like move the circle for now, move do the movements, then move it back. <laughs> but yeah, there's a button you can push to make this yeah. stuff do better too. If the combat tracker's open, you can drag it onto them as well. Um, and I'm just gonna do that. Where did the echo go? Okay. Eldritch Blast. Um that's Salamander one. So that would have been for her last turn for her second beam. Uh, he blocked it. Alright. She's gonna control both the beams at Salamander one again. First attack. Dodge. Holy shit. Second attack, dodge. Both beams just fly over her shoulders. Um, Pancock, you're in Kyrian's turn. Um, a Kyrian thing never popped up for me, so. Um, it's, it goes at the same time as you. I know, but I, I have no attack for him. You should have got his character sheet. You should be able to use that and drag on his attacks and stuff okay. onto him. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, is the first salamander the one we're currently fighting? Is that within twenty feet in front of us, directly straight in front? The one in front of you? Yeah, he's within five feet of you. Any of those squares is essentially five feet adjacent. So I can use pounce if uh, moves at least twenty feet straight forward. Oh. Yeah, that's not twenty feet. That's fifteen. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm gonna do a bite. Okay. Um, well, well, you'll have to move Kyrian. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, give me a second. Let me rearrange this. Oh, nice roll. Nice. Uh, yeah, you hit. Yes. So it does 1d6 plus 4 damage. Yep, just drag that onto his face. Uh, you might not be able to drag him on, since he's in the sphere, just drag it onto him in the combat tracker. Uh, Salamander 1. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh... Hold on. You want me to just do it for you? Yes, please. You did bite, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, four damage, but he resisted some of it. Or, oh no, he would have done 1d6 plus four. He would have done, he did nine damage, but the salamander kind of sh sh shuck, uh, shuck some of it off with his tough scales. Okay. Okay, so now it should be your turn. Well, technically, you go at the same time. You still have your Haunter's markup. I'm gonna... Can I move around him? Right to the other side of Kyrian? Uh... Or would that you, be a disengage? If you move... Wait, you're gonna move through Kyrian? Because if you if you leave his threat range, he would he would get an attack of opportunity unless you disengage, but that's an action. Okay, um... I'm just gonna use my longbow. Uh, you will get disadvantage because you're in uh, melee combat. Uh-oh. Um, from the melee combat, could I use my short sword? Or is that an action to... It would be an action, unless you drop your bow, it would be an action to sheath your bow and then grab your short, short sword. Okay, I would get disadvantage. Okay. I gotta roll it again? Yeah, you would have to roll it twice. Uh, so you rolled a three. Uh, yeah, you missed. Oh. <laughs> you actually rolled it at advantage, but you still missed, apparently. Um, so is that your turn? Uh, um, yeah, hold okay. on, um, can I put a dodge effect on me? A what? A dodge effect? No, that's an action. All those generic things, those are all actions. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, that's my turn. Okay, okay. We're gonna uh, die. the salamander... That salamander chucked his spear at you, so he has to go retrieve it to do any sort of damage with a weapon. But he's gonna... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... Oh, yep, he made it to Corrin. 
sees a, another lizard folk looking just like him um he's he's gonna use his tail to smack at thee smack breath attack breath attack and he do, corin you completely dodge it oh he, cool he just hisses at you because you dodge it and upsets him uh corin your turn what do i roll uh whatever you're gonna do i don't know what you're doing um oh okay this is your turn hey i have a question mm -hmm. my favorite enemies are humanoids uh draconic goblinoids and orcs mm -hmm. do the blizzard people fall under any of those let's see i don't think so no they're actually uh large elementals well i know what i'm adding next time i get it oh shit also i forgot they have multi-attack oh Oh, no, really? just forget. No, no. Get it. You fucked up. <laughs> We're already gonna die. Um, is there any way I can use Thunderclap on it? I don't know. Thunderclap? Let's see. Uh, I think that might hurt you because that's a range, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. What about breath attack? Each creature within range other than you must make a constitution save. Yeah. I think I might, uh, use my breath attack, yeah. You have a lightning breath weapon, which is, I think, a line. Yep. Um, what you could do is if you shimmied slightly around him, you might be able to hit him both. What's the range? Uh, oh, that doesn't even have your, um, uh, eight plus. It doesn't really say a range. Nine. All right, hold on. It's your heritage. Let's look up your heritage. Oh, you're blue. It's a 30-foot line. Okay. And it says it's 2d6 damage. You gotta see if you hit him first. Alright, so... Yeah, if you shimmy up to the square to his top right, it would be 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Yeah, you would you'd barely be within range. So you'd have to go, like, here. But you'd be able to hit him both. Okay, okay. Um, I'll do that. But, so then, uh, drag the save onto each of their faces to see if it hits. Okay, hold on. What is the save? I think they need to make a con save. Let's see. Each creature in the area must make a saving throw, the type of which is determined by your draconic. Oh! I thought it would be always a dex save, but apparently not. Dang it. Okay, so your ancestry is blue... Okay, so it is a deck save. Why would they say that? They're all deck save. No, they're not. Okay. So those two guys need to roll a deck save. Dex save. 10 and 18. And I think one of them passed and one of them failed. Let's see. Yeah. Plus your proficiency. So it's 8 plus 1, 9, 10, 11, 12. So one of them failed. Yep. So... The guy right in front of you failed. So go ahead and uh, drag the damage onto his face. Okay. Actually, you might not be able to do that. He's being goofy. They're all being goofy. Yep. Oh, no. It's it's being weird. Okay, I'll get it. Like, oh, wait. There it goes. <laughs> um, Did it come up? You hurt yourself. You tried to hurt yourself. Oh. Uh, here, I'll get it. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. you did max damage. No! That was awesome. Does it also take lightning damage? Yeah, he he took lightning damage. But you did you rolled two d6 and oh wait, no, he rolled you rolled two fours. I saw two fours and I got all excited. And the other one takes half damage, which is so Okay. Done. <clears throat> oh, is that your turn? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and pass. To the weakest link. And uh Jordan says uh this is a fool's errand. We should turn back. And How do you propose we we disengage and live if we can't continue to beat them? He's just saying let's run. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we can't necessarily outrun lizards. That's you, not how this works. You don't know that. They are lizard people. They're freaking huge. They're, they're your height. They're the same as big as you. I'm five foot four. Well, you still move at your thirty speed. You move at the same speed as everyone else. You move at their speed. <coughs> uh, okay, Jordan is going to... Is anyone hurt? No. 
He is going to... Not yet. What's he gonna do? Uh, he's gonna cast Shield of Faith or level one spell on Pancag. Shield of Faith, because you are taken Damagi. And that's a, that's a bonus spell. And then he's going to... So my armor class right now is 15. Is that what it is normally? Yep. Uh, it's normally 13. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, when people try to hit you, it gives you the, it'll give you the plus two. He is going to... I have no idea what he's going to do, actually. He's going to use... Oh, that's concentration, too. Balls! I hate spellcasting. He's going to walk up to the guy next to Pancog. He's going to cast... Oh, my God. He's going to die. Oh, actually, you know what? He's going to do this. He's going to... He's not going to move. He's going to cast Thaumaturgy within 30 feet. And it's going to be... <coughs> He's going to, within 30 feet behind the salamanders, about where that, that those rocks are, just within 30 feet of that, he's going to cast Thaumaturgy and going to have ominous, make it sound like there's a, ominous whispers that are happening to try to get their attention, to think that they're being so, flanked. Psychic attack. Huh? Is it like a psychic attack? No, it's just he makes sounds happen behind him. Um, he he's trying to flee, and he's trying to get them distracted so you guys can get out. Um, so he, he makes like sounds happen behind him, and uh, he's gonna five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Well, does it work? Twenty-five backwards. So that's where he goes. They are going to. Salamander's distracted now. Yeah, let's see. Let's roll a. Oh. They have garbage perception. All right. First one completely fails. Yeah. Second one passes. Um, okay. So the one next to um, Pancog hears those whispers behind him and turns and is uh, distracted. The other one doesn't care. So since that one salamander turned, do I get attack of opportunity? No, he didn't move or anything. He just he's looking behind him now. I think someone's sneaking up on him. Lucius, turn. My go. Okay, then. <clears throat> so you said this was 30 feet up in the air. Does You're about 40 feet. Movement? What? Does falling count as movement? No, but it will definitely take damage. There's full damage. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Um... Okay. Well, seeing as everyone, I think Jordan just wants to escape. <clears throat> so my original plan was to get behind them, um, roughly about here, and um, put down one of my bear traps uh, to try and at least trap one of them. Uh, cause I cause think... and try to get them to come over, and I'd move over here slightly afterwards. I think to set a bear uh... trap takes ten minutes. Oh, okay, that'd be a bit of a nightmare then. Um... <laughs> Okay then, well, in that case, <clears throat> um, oh, what if I was to use, could I um, negate my full damage if I was to use an acrobatic skill to jump from this to the rock, which seems to be about 10 feet high? Yeah, so, th so like, like that feet. rock is like 20 feet, and then the okay, thing so you're on is 20 feet. more feet. Okay. Um, so you take, you essentially take 1d6 damage for every 10 feet you fall. 1d6 damage <laughs> for every 10 feet. Okay. Um, you can roll an you can you can roll an athletics check though to try to negate it. I will do. Yeah. If you get a, if you get a 10 or higher, you'll so ignore 10 feet. Or acrobatics. Uh, athletics, because you're gonna be doing them them rolls. You know, athletics should be higher, isn't it? No, my athletics is plus one. My acrobatics is plus. Six. Oh, I thought athletics was dex. Oof. No, that's strength. Yeah, athletics is strength. Although, uh, if you if you roll a ten or higher, you ignore ten feet of falling. So, okay. As long as you do okay, you might just take one d six damage. All right then. Well, yeah, I'll move. I'll move to this then. Oh, I. Eh, nice. And I'll roll that athletics. Oh. You okay. didn't make it. That's super unfortunate. 
You take 2d6 damage. All right. Great. Uh, and well, you took three damage. That's good. <laughs> yeah, you took like the best outcome damage ever. Okay then. So now, um, uh, hey there. So I'm gonna use dash, which will increase it by thirty. So I should have 50 movement left because I had to move slightly from here to there. Mm -hmm. So that's 20 isn't movement, but it's still okay. So I can move. I want to get near everyone. I can move up to there, or I could move here. But I will still have to do the athletics check again. See if I yes, yeah, so I want to go there, but I'll try to negate at least one d6. Uh, that's it. What did we say? That was a 10 foot high rock or 20? Uh, you said 20. Okay. So yeah. So that would be two. Uh, athletics again. Okay. So you only take 1d6. <clears throat> okay. And you take one. Oh my God. Hey, nimble rogues. I rolled a one, a two, and a one. Let's go. All right. And, um, and then I shall end my turn. Um, okay. Salamander one is, uh, how is he going to respond? Because. He heard that sound behind him. He's gonna he's gonna actually disengage. And fail. <laughs> yeah, okay, so he's gonna disengage. Which is gonna use his action. And he's gonna Ah, not that. Oh stupid circle. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. He's gonna come a... he's gonna come in to investigate that area. And not get flanked. Uh echoes go away. Thing. Eldritch Blast. That's pretty much what's Eldritch Blast. That's all. Well, if you have that or acid. Eldritch Blast. That is the signature move of the. Uh... Or fireball. Eldritch Blast or fireball. Uh, fireball is sorcerer. It just depends on who's your your either. What is it? Warlocks get those from what? They're hired deities. No, they're uh, they're deity dad or mommies and daddies. No, that's sorcerer. They have the rich parents. The warlocks pledge to dark deities and stuff. Why can't... Oh, fucking stink it. Salamander 3. Take an Eldritch Blast. Oh, it's a hit! For some damage. Blam. Let's make sure that the damage didn't go up. Yes. Yeah, just get one more attack. All right, so some damage happened. And the next... Blam. And that one he dodges. And then... Echo is going to say, I'm out! And is running off the map. <clears throat> uh, because she saw Lushu going and Jordan splitting. Alright, Pancog, it's your turn. Okay, sorry about that. <sighs> Hold on, we skipped Kyrian. It goes at your same turn, so... What? You, oh. go, you, you both go at the exact same time, so you're fine. Okay, so... Far away is this dragon. Aha! The salamander is 20 feet exactly from Kyrian. Five, so ten... So I'm going to... Which one? Bounce. Huh? Which which salamander? Three, the one that Corrin's attacking. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen. Um, yeah, that's within range. Before hitting it with a claw attack, the target must succeed in a DC 12 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Yep. Go for it. Pounce away, Kyrian. Um, I don't know how to do that for Kyrian. You can do a claw attack. Um, also I can do that too. Um, so you're gonna move Kyrian to ooh, that fucking circle. All right, just imagine that the circle's there. Um, you're gonna move Kyrian there. Uh, basically on top of the because he's pouncing. Yep. And then strength save on this boy. Yes, yeah, so do twelve. Open strength. Ooh. Yeah, they pass. <laughs> Um, okay, so he's not knocked prone. Yeah, but you can uh, okay. do your normal basic bite or basic claw. It has to be the claw attack. Uh, you can choose to bite as your main attack. Okay. Um, I'll do. I'll do bite then. Okay. Um. Yeah. Make sure I'm hitting the right one. Melee attack bite, and rolls a critical miss. Table fumble, what'd you do? 
Uh, just a miss, thankfully. That would be weird if the panther all of a sudden did something weird. <laughs> like, drop a weapon. You don't have a weapon! Um, okay. It's your turn still. Okay, um, bonus action. Can I cast Hunter's Mark again on Salamander 3? Or can I move it from Salamander 1? I think you can move it as a bonus action, can you not? Let's see. Possibly. Abilities. Nope. Actions. Hunter's Mark. Uh, you cannot move it. You would have to recast it. So, yes, you would have to use another spell slot. Okay, so... Salamander 1. The one that was attacking us. Uh-huh. Is he technically behind a tree? No. Uh, well, yeah, but you're fine because uh, you're a sharpshooter, so you ignore three-quarters cover and shit because of your feet. Okay. Pancake, don't even think about trying to attack the mouse. <laughs> I gotta do sharpshooter. You don't have to use your sharpshooter to get the bonus of ignoring the, his cover if you don't want. Okay. You can just do a, a regular shot. This is for Salamander 1. Uh, so you rolled 20. Holy shit. Yeah, I forgot you can do crap ton damage. Uh, I believe you hit. Okay. Yeah, you uh, hit. That's a 1d8 plus 4. Sure uh, oh, you didn't drag it on him? So you did nine, nine damage. So, boom, done. Move my turn down. The uh, salamander is going to, because he doesn't have his weapon, he never went and retrieved it. He's going to tail swipe at Corrin again. Oh, hold up. Kyrian hit him, huh? Uh, Corrin uh, dodged, by the way. But Kyrian hit the salamander and... Yes. Oh, just and takes damage because he is on fire. Oh, shit. And he rolls like garbage, but Kyrian smacked the... Actually, he bit him, right? He bit him and he comes off and he's... Arr! He's obviously in pain uh, because this fire elemental he just bit with his face. Um, that's the salamander's turn. Scorn's turn. Okay. Also, moving this back. Um, actually, I am going to... Uh... Well, will I take an attack of opportunity if I go over to where uh, Lushu is? Uh, not if you disengage, but that'll use your whole action. You'll you'll still be able to move your speed, but you won't get a like an attack or anything. Oh, you hear the birds? That's what you are hearing. I guess I'm gonna try to try to run. I know I'll probably take an attack of opportunity, but do you want to disengage or do you actually just want to leave? Um, like, I want to get over there where, it's, where uh, Lushu and them are. You can do that. If you disengage, you can still get there, but you won't be able to do anything else. Wait, are we attempting to run? Is that what this is? That's what Echo, uh, Lushu, and Jordan did. God damn it. Y'all didn't yeah. inform us of the plan. Uh, I know. This is bullshit. Yeah, I'll disengage. And you're just going to go over to where Lushu's going? Mm-hmm. 10, 15, 20. You can actually leave the map if you want. Yeah. Okay. You're out of the map. Are we out of the fire swamp? I don't know. <laughs> no, you, you would technically be going back to the the other space, I guess, that you guys were in. Okay. Um. So they, they just went back to the other map we were on. Essentially, yeah, the other hex. Uh, Jordan is... Um, he's, he's not gonna leave until everyone's out, but he's gonna shout. He's like, hurry! We're getting out of here! And, uh, he attempts to... What's he gonna try to do? Yeah, that's not very useful at all. Uh, he's gonna do the... Oh, wait, he might be able to... He's gonna drop his, uh, AC bonus to you, Pancake, in favor of Pass Without a Trace. He's gonna cast that second level spell. Marks up a spell slot. But essentially, that will give you all bonus to your stealth to try to escape. So, bam. Anyone within range of him is getting this bonus. Does that also include my, my familiar? Of course. Mm, no. Stop. Cast without a trace. Let me see. No biting. Yeah, within 30 feet of him uh, gets bonus. So... 15, 20, 25, 30. Sweet, you're all within range. Um, that is his turn. Blue shoots your turn. Awesome. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, bitches. 
I'm out. Bye. <laughs> and turn. Uh, Salamander one uh, turns around and tail slaps Kyrian uh, and dodges. What was that? Kyrian armor class is 14. Yeah, he missed. He still missed. Yes. Um, Echo's already gone. Uh, Pancog, it's your turn. I am also going to attempt to run away. Shoom. So is Kyrian. Kyrian can actually run off the map. Um, Kyrian will have to disengage so he doesn't get attack of opportunity. But I'm just, you're just running, so you don't care. All right? Uh, if you choose the run action, you can actually get off the map, too. Yes. Okay. So you choosing to run. You get the hell out. Yep. Um, so that's Kyrian's move to Salamander. 5, 10, 15, 25, 25, 30. He makes it here, and he's... And he just hisses at Jordan because he can't reach him in time. Corrin's already out. And Jordan says, I'm out, two bitches! And you guys, uh, you get... You get pursued by the, uh, or the, the salamanders pursue you for a little bit, but you manage to evade, uh, their detection because of the pass without a trace that, uh, bubble Jordan gave to you guys. And you were, uh, managed to escape ever so slightly. I say ever so slightly. You guys didn't take much damage, but those guys had a, a fat load of life and a fat load of armor. We don't have to roll five anymore. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Trident's roll five. Yeah. Fours? Fours are, are more appropriate than fives. <clears throat> okay, so... What now? <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, Jordan, essentially, once you guys manage to evade them, he kind of slumps down onto uh, the, uh, like the ground and says, and he's sweating, he wipes sweat from his brow, and he's like, and there's the real danger. Of the fire swamp. Those damn fun. fives. <laughs> oh, and you guys pretty much went back to six, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I still say we could have taken them if Lushu wasn't just hiding and trying to be super Well, I, I was trying to get behind them. I don't know. Flank going you, on, and the next thing you know, Jordan was like, hell no, nah, and he started leaving, so I just thought, okay, that's my cue to probably jump. I don't know, in... Okay by myself. How many turns was that? Uh, in five turns, you guys hit them twice. In total. I would say that if they can make multi-attacks... Yeah, and they were hitting then, uh, like a truck. They're definitely not something to go against with our level. <laughs> That's why I went with Lishu. <laughs> so I'm like, oh no, multi-attacks is going to kill us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you guys make it back to the Sulphur Springs, which is kind of like a, a little bit of, bit of a respite. Can I give Kyrian a uh, potion? Uh, yes. Kirin hurted? Kirin's not hurt. He took damage, but it... He took damage, but it soaked up from the temporary hit points from the spirit totem. Uh, okay. Um, but... So how much am I hurt? Um, you only have five damage. Man, I have five damage. But, uh, Jordan says... I don't think we want to... I don't recommend we do that again. We didn't want to do it the first time. <laughs> well, considering that's our only passing, we either have to go all the way around again. I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, it's your call. So can we not go bottom left? Um, no, that area is blocked off. I was gonna say, um, there, there's too, to the there's too much again. growth and stuff to actually get your way through there. I feel like we should just attempt a quick sand again. Mm. But hang on, what's number six? That's the geysers, right? Uh, six is the springs. Spring. Okay. Those and are the ones that are relatively safe. The water, the waters are really hot. Did you say? Uh, three. No, 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 three, three is there. I guess really hot. Okay. Or is quick sand. Okay, so six is the safe place ish, right? So whilst here, I'm gonna refill that uh small vial oh smart yeah that i had um i'm not too sure if the fire swamp water is still on my weapons so <laughs> i'm just gonna just just to make sure 
Um, before I do sheath them, I'm gonna like wipe them on some leaves. On a... Sure. Before I put them back. <laughs> wipe them on some leaves. <laughs> just still like, I don't know how this works. Like... Nah. Yeah, yeah, get rid of it. Exactly. <laughs> just like, like butter. Um, and put them obviously back away. Um, let me put that back into my inventory so I can get rid of it. Um, from here, yeah, I think the only thing we can do is go through three of the geysers. Uh, yeah, I'll have to go back around the way we came. But at least we know the way we came, there's no more salamanders. So... Yeah, if you follow your exact path. Yeah, so I say... Lego, my dudes. Evasive. Mm -hmm. Um... I hate to ask this. Is there any way you can play my character? Do you, I mean, can you keep up with everything on there? I mean, I know you're playing Echo's character too. Um, yeah. I What's ask. Be, I ask because um, we're pet sitting, and there's no one here to feed the dogs. Oh. And we have like three dogs. <laughs> you mean so. like player uh, play core and temporarily? For now, or for yeah. okay, yeah, of course, that's fine. Yeah, for now, yeah, yeah, for this session, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I so, just gotta make sure they eat. Yeah, go ahead and feed them. Okay. Because okay. we we agree that we're going back the way that we know that there's no. Yeah, more I mean, it, also, yeah, if we go the way that we came, we know all it is is GA just rolls. That's it. So it doesn't matter really. Yeah. We will be safe. <laughs> yeah. Relatively safe. Hello, Kaneki. So you guys, go. you're going back to three oh. right now? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, everyone roll uh, perception. Like the baby. Okay. Perception, uh. Jordan, Koran, and Echo. All right. All right, Vasive. I'm getting off for now. I'm sorry. It's all good, dude. I'll take care of this dog. See you later, my dude. Have a good one. <laughs> you too. Bye. Perception. Perception. <laughs> Ability skills. Whoa. Perception. Oh, Jordan. Oh, uh, Pancog passes. Lushu passes. Corin passes. Jordan and Echo fail. Come in. And with that, Jordan and Echo fail. Now they gotta roll Dex. Jordan. Echo. I think they both passed. Holy shit, they both passed. They both managed to escape the explosive fire water. Wow, I can't believe you guys have dodged all this explosive fire water. Um, but you guys make it through. <laughs> uh, you went to you went to three, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. All right, then to four, I guess. And four is oh quicksand. Everyone roll a perception. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? What was three again? Uh, geysers. Geysers. Okay, then. I'm thinking, is there anything around? Because we know we're going this way. Is there anything around that we can pick up that we can use to help us get across the quicksand? No, because remember, it's a giant area. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. just like, right, then, just sure, constant right, quicksand. So... <laughs> is it perception or is it survival for the quicksand? Either. Your choice. And you're go you guys are going to four, or, right? Four, yes. Right. Oh. Perception or survival. It. We're gonna hey, die. Yo. Hey, yo. Skills. <laughs> Skills. Skills. <laughs> Perception or survival. Ooh. All right, he's gonna roll a survival. Survival. And let's see. Pancog fails. Lushu fails. Jordan passes. Echo fails. <laughs> Corrin passes. You bust out the it's like 6 a.m. now <laughs> bust out the ropes yep yeah we still have rope yep. can I attach the rope to an arrow and shoot it towards Corrin's feet uh sure just <laughs> hopefully you roll decent Echo is gonna <laughs> do something similar what, what, what do I have to roll uh do strength oh Echo just rolled a one. Uh, yeah, the, the arrow lands at Corrin's feet. I'll say, uh... Um, I will tie the rope around myself. Okay. And, uh... Um, Tell her to pull. And then request Corrin help me out. 
Sure. Uh, we'll throw another strength check. Actually, wait, wait, wait. That was your strength check? Was it 10? No, oh, you're, you're out. We'll, we'll just say you got out. Like, you did that, and Corrin was like, oh, cool. Grabbed you. Got an out. Cool. Um, Echo is still sinking, and Lucio, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use an arrow, but on the tree to, like, pull myself. Okay. But, um, real quick, how far away is Echo from me? Is she within reaching? Distance? About She's about 20 feet. Ooh. Um, okay then. So, yeah, I'll I'll shoot the arrow uh, to the tree um, and try to get out. String so, check. It's string. And you totally, totally get out. Okay, uh, then. Am, am I right to now throw that rope towards Echo? Sure. Go ahead and roll a okay. strength, see if you can get it towards her. And <laughs> it, it, it lands nowhere near her, but she was using her rope, too, so she's going to roll a strike, well, and she gets it's out. It's still attached to the tree, so yeah. it's not like I lost it. So it's Yeah. Uh, she gets out. Okay. So I roll up my, my rope for future usage. <laughs> You're just going to walk around with it tied around your waist now? Yes. Yep, well, considering we know the next area we're going into is quicksand <laughs> as well. It's probably about... It's just going to be tied around my waist and just holding on to the rope. Yep. Okay, so what we'll do... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull my rope as well. Yep. Get that back. Um, what we'll do... You guys are... I'm, you're just following your way back home that you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we'll do is you guys for your your checks here uh go ahead and roll advantage because you're aware of the dangers you just can't see them very Ooh, okay. as well so just go ahead and roll and advantage perception uh perception or survival. or survival yep wow you dropped a 9 oh that's a 20 okay makes more sense um perception of survival how do you roll advantage oh right click the button um, the click the button there's advantage yeah, I see it. For disadvantage. And then... Advantage. And then Corrin skills. Advantage. Oh, that was a stealth. Oh, did I do stealth? Yeah. Okay, well, I will recalculate. So she rolled in... Ooh. Oh, she rolled an 18. Or Jordan rolled an 18. Or uh, Echo rolled a 7 plus... Yeah, but that was stealth, not survival. Yeah, 7 plus 5. So it would have been... 13 instead of 9. So, let's see. Lushu failed. Hancock made it. Uh, Jordan made it. Echo failed. Corin made it. Wait, you you did Echoes as a stealth roll. I, I just recalculated it, though. She rolled a 13, essentially. And still failed. Um, Let's see. Me and Jordan are the only ones besides Corin. Uh, Corin, Jordan, and Pancog made it. Yep. So, Echo and Lushu. Swimming in the quicksand again. Okay, considering that we um, did with advantage this time, I would assume that we're a lot closer together. Um, so yeah, let's say I that. Hold on to, I'll hold on to Echo now, and um, same um, old trick, same old trick. You know, fire in the bow. Yeah, whatever. you guys aren't you aren't so, needing to explore anymore. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> and Echo's gonna roll Maybe too. Echo, Echo looks at you and just says like, no, and she grabs you. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> no, <laughs> and uh, we'll just use that roll so you both can get out. Thank you. All right, um, you guys can roll advantage again. Um, what was two perception or sur uh, survival? Technically, I shouldn't be telling you. Actually, I'll, we'll say you guys were writing notes, right? There we are, 18. Perception, two, 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 two. boom. We're doing good. Boom. We're, it was the fire flowers. Yes. We're all doing good. <laughs> Advantage. Last choose, one. Choose the fire flowers. Yeah, it's the fire flowers. We all... Oh, Corrin. Ow, oh, Corrin. Yeah, everyone else did fine. Corrin is, uh... Runs into a flower and takes two damage. Um, it seems that every time you, uh... Come in contact with one of these flowers it does slightly more uh singeing to your body uh, yeah she makes reference to that as like ah, something with these flowers man um but you guys managed to make it through there um six is the springs again you guys do anything in the springs 
No, just no. aiming. Okay. Fire and flowers. Fire flowers again. Do it again. Roll them again. Advantage. With advantage? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Uh, oh, wrong button. Advantage. Yoink. Nice. Yoink. Ooh. Ooh. Yoink. Mmm. That should That's be right. Uh, Pancog pass. Lucio pass. Who's this? Uh, Jordan oh. pass. Ooh, Echo fail. And... Corrin fail. Okay. Echo takes two damages. And Torn takes three. Ooh. Echo takes two. Ooh. She actually took actual damage this time. The, the temporaries did not wear off or got eaten up. And Korn <laughs> getting spicier and spicier. Okay, so this is your free spot. So one of you roll a d6. Go ahead, Franco. Thank God you did not roll the wildlife den. Because <laughs> I would have been like, it didn't work because this whole situation would not have worked then. Um, or you could have, actually, we could have just said it would, but whatever. Um, it's geysers scalding hot water. I haven't rule of perception. And since you walked through, you technically walked through this before, we'll give you an advantage. Perception. Let's go. And perception. Perception. Where's Corin? It's just dice, I promise you. She hearing the dice roll? She's watching them. Oh, that's she funny. She does burn. Uh oh. <laughs> Lushu fails. Pancog succeeds. Jordan succeeds. Ooh. Corin succeeds. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, Lushu, you pass. Everyone passes. Okay. Woo! You guys oh, yeah, successfully get back out of the fire swamp. You can oh, no. walk 30 minutes back to town. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. What time 40, is this 50, now? 25. Huh? What time is this now? Um, it's... Add two more hours. It's, uh, it's 2 p.m. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, like, wow. You guys have been gone forever. You've been gone for a day and a half. They probably think we're dead by now. Yeah, day and a half. Yeah, well... Fucking everyone else was like, you don't go in that place. You get dead it did. So they, they, but as soon as you entered, they probably just resigned. It's like, they're dead. They probably started making the, the coffee. Yeah, right. And, right. Yeah. I, just, uh, I, I say that we walk the 30 minutes to town and then get ourselves very drunk in a bar. Yes. Very, very, very drunk. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys walk into town. Obviously seen some shit um <laughs> jordan uh, uh let you know i'm gonna be head i'm gonna head to the mage tower relay the information to eldred <clears throat> and uh i'll meet you guys in the tavern for a, a nice healthy meal and a drink later drink or meal schmeal i i'm just gonna do straight alcohol <laughs> and he, he chuckles <laughs> Very well, friends. I'll catch you later. And uh, he kind of heads off to the... Before he goes, before he goes, I call out and say, so where do we collect our 55 gold from? Uh, he's he's obviously, like, walking. He's waving behind. And he says, uh, Mayor Gribblebum... What was his name? Grumblebum? Grumblebum? Something like that. Mayor Gr Grumblebum will uh, Grumblebum. take care of you with that. Okay. I'm going to assume, Lushu, that... He only accepts uh, visits when it's actual daylight hours. I mean, well, it's 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. Oh, half two, half two, yeah. So around this time, I would yeah, assume 2 he's I guess. in the bar. <laughs> yeah, he's probably doing mayor stuff around town. You could probably, yeah, you could probably fall, find him around. Well, I say we'll make our way to the, the tavern, and if we happen to see him on the way, we'll flag him down and give him what he needs and get our gold and use his money to buy our alcohol <laughs> for the night rather than our own. There you go. He's a. Uh, it's it's that big inn slash tavern thing. Uh, you walk in and you know people are bustling around, uh, making repairs to the entire town. People are kind of surprised to see you made it out of the fire swamp. Sees a couple with you with fresh burns, uh, especially Hancock with uh, your very very red skin from getting blasted with the steam water. I just have a really really bad suffering. Yeah, pretty much looks like it. Looks like you dropped yourself into a big boiling pot. Um, 
guys manage to stumble in. Uh, no one hears you come in, or the mayor doesn't hear you guys come in. He's in, obviously in the middle of some business. Um, but he's off in the, the corner talking to someone about some uh, repairs and stuff. Also, who's holding the map? Wasn't it? Echo? I feel you're about to go eavesdrop. It, I don't know. Any of you guys could have been holding the map and drawing. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I, I asked. Yeah. We'll, we'll 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 start walking over and using my gigantic elf ears. I'll see if I hear anything of interest as I'm walking over. And I'm also listening out for um any code words and stuff using like my thieves yeah. can't oh, right. Um. Go yeah. Roll a... They're talking about anything on the down low. Go ahead and roll perception. Ooh, okay. Um, perception. Oh, that was almost a one. Um, you, 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 mostly what you hear is mumblings and grumblings of how, how the repairs are coming slow, um, how uh, some adventurers just essentially left off to their deaths, and maybe, maybe the mayor isn't fit to be mayor. Um, you guys were strong, able-bodied people that could have helped with the repairs, but now you went off to the fire swamp, and just kind of people are stressed out and tense uh because everything that's been going on but, uh, that's that's about all you hear uh you you approach the mayor is that what you do mm -hmm. okay um what do you, what like do you do anyway okay so uh he's kind of in the busy talking the person he's talking to kind of stops talking and looks forward in the mayor he's like <clears throat> what are you doing he turns around he's like oh, you've returned tell me what successes have you found? Have you found the materials? Have you found a secret way into the fire swamp? Is there hope? I, yeah. I go... <laughs> yeah, just gonna look at the party. Yeah. And just and then of, he, uh, he, yeah, he eyes up uh, Pancog uh, and says, uh, What happened to you? Nah, what happened to me? Um, that would be lovely geysers full of sulfur water. Fun! You look like a strawberry. <laughs> like, yeah. What? I, more importantly, let, let's see the map. Let's see the map. Have you found a safe way? Uh, safe? Define safe. Is it possible to gather the materials necessary to help rebuild the town? Well, I mean, the problem is the first entrance has a geyser and then followed by two fields of fire Fire flowers. lilies, yep. Yeah, fire lilies, which you even touch them, it sets you it sets you with a little singe and it increases the damage every time you touch a new one. You have to deal with quicksand, which pops up out of nowhere, like days. back, like, mm -hmm. yes, go on, go on, go on. And then there are a few safe spots, safe with springs. Other than that, uh, we encountered one round of salamanders. Oh, yes. The most dangerous yeah. villains of the fire swamp indeed. Surprised you made it out with your lives. Yeah. We almost yes, did. <laughs> he says, but I guess a deal's a deal. And he ruffles under some, uh, I don't know, like a bench area. And... <laughs> 55 gold pieces! Was it a piece? Wait, it was... It was yeah, it was 55... Or 5 gold per hex, right? Yes. Yeah, that, that was each person as well. No, it wasn't each person. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it was each person. I think you wanted it to be each person. Uh... So, so I bet I mean, if we split 55 four ways, hold on. It's still like 11 and a half gold or something per person. But you had... Full room and board and stuff as you're here. As long as you're here. It's 13.75. Okay, so ev everyone add 13 gold. All right, I got to add it to... There you go. Echo. Open. Oh, God. Open Echo. Uh, Main inventory. Thir oh, my God. You guys are fucking rich, bro. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes, we are. Do we actually plan to use any of it? Not really, unless we have to. Um, okay. Echo, and then Corrin. Yoink. No, I'm thinking, um, I'll get one of those extensions so you actually guys can have real shops and stuff you can buy from. Mmm, that'd be so, cool. That'd be kind of cool. So, I 
am now going to leave the mayor to go up to the bar. And have yourself a drink. 100% same. Drink you could possibly give me. And then, uh, they kind of look at you weird and then look at the mayor and the mayor says, Give them what they want! They've returned from the fire swamp! I'm sure they're in need of some good refreshment. And so the barkeep kind of nods and pours you a big old stout. How much, barkeep? He says, uh, Mr. Mayor just said it was on the house. Did you hear? Yes. I also know that you guys are recovering. Therefore, I will pay you for your services, Judge. Ah, uh, you are too kind, but, uh, you've, d you've done enough for us in, uh, here in Rokax. Plus, this doesn't go to me. This is not my establishment. He's like, you enjoy that, that, uh, stout there. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. Um, hey, I turned to Lushu. I, I asked Luchu, do we want to partake in a drinking contest? At this point, Luchu has been awake for a while. And he, <laughs> just wants to get, he just wants to get drunk and go to sleep. The, the drunk that's, naps? That, that's that's what he wants to do right now. He just wants to go to sleep, to be honest. The drunk naps. Wimp. Especially considering it is also 1 a.m. here for me yep. in the UK. I was going to say. I got to take, take my daughter to school in the morning. So we'll that's see. Uh, wrap, wrap him up and go, let him go to bed. Will you all get a nice long rest, nice dinner. Pancog gets a nice drink in her belly. Um, and then you guys will wake up for next session. Hell yeah, dude. And uh, what? We'll wrap up here because I know a lot of people need to go to sleep and stuff and all that good stuff. Mm. But thank you guys for playing. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed the fire swamp. I'm kind of glad that you guys only ran into one of Same. the encounters. Uh, there was yeah. one area that you would never hit. You would never rolled a one. Mm. So what would have uh, one been out of interest? Can't tell you in case you guys enter the fire swamp again. Uh. Like I'm, I'm keeping that map around. I don't know. You guys okay. technically could do side quests with the whole team. Like, all right, let's go map that whole fucking thing. Make some money. Maybe then we'd actually stand a chance against one of the settlements. <laughs> yeah, those guys were nasty. Um, yeah, big time. All right, my friends. Uh, let's hurry up and wrap up so you guys can get to sleep and do what you guys got to do. But uh, thank you guys so much for playing. I'm glad. Uh, oh, next week we'll probably uh, get the whole team together. So I'm excited for that, That'd too. Awesome. That would be awesome. I'll all right, my friends. There. Thanks for playing. Uh, well, did you have a great afternoon, evening? I think it's evening for you guys now. But uh, yep. <laughs> look after yourself. Speak to you guys soon. Boosh. Later, kids. Peace. All right, my friends. Um, let's see. Ooh, that went a bit long, but it is fine. Um, I had, hope you guys had fun. Um, fire swamp. No joke. You don't want to mess with that. They didn't see any ROUSs or anything. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, that was fun. Uh, we'll come back to it next week. We'll have both teams meeting. I'm assuming that probably might just end up being a whole RP session and explaining the plot and all that good stuff that has been happening. And then I need to figure out where the story and stuff goes from there. Um, have some ideas mulling around, but need to fully sit down and flesh some stuff out. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Moira, I'm glad you're looking forward to it next week too. Um, I can't wait. Um... Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, guys did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps us out a lot. Let's you know what you like and what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. I'm sliding everywhere. But more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescue out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasif. We are Quarantine. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. You gotta go party, let's go party.